Hey guys, Path of Gaming right here right now bringing you a coaching session with a video review of Vance. Welcome! Thank you. And we're doing a, a Filios game, so let's check it out. And you, you want to become Grandmaster, so let's work on that. Yeah. Okay, so glove. Why glove? Uh, I don't see your screen right now, for one thing. Oh, nice. Well done, well done. That's something I should probably do. <laughs> Here you go. That helps. Alright, um... I think you can make an argument for several different starting items. I don't really have a favorite. If I'm playing more flexible, like I'm not just focusing on AD, I think glove or belt are probably my favorite. Because you, you always want a glove, right? You want Hodge, you want Joel Gauntlet, you want Last Whisper, i.e. So it, it's hard to be unhappy with a glove. Okay. I mean, I have different reasoning for my itemization, but as long as you know why you're doing it, it it's completely fine. Uh... I would like to have, like, a favorite item, but I'm not I'm not sure what it is right now. It might be a sword, actually, if I'm playing AD. Uh, okay, I think that the best item, here's the item list. The best item is, for me, by far, armor. Chain vest. Yeah. Because you got one, two, three, four really good items. So half yeah. of the items, you can slam right away. Yeah. And then there's like a, a sword... Uh, a rod, a tear, and a glove left over. So if you get a sword and a glove, that's IE. If you get a tear and a glove, that's Hodge. If you get a yeah. rod, then okay, whatever, rod's kind of bad. But w what I'm trying to show you is like, if you get any of these components, you make the armor item, the chain vest item. Mm -hmm. And if you get the other components, like glove and something, like glove, yeah, glove and tear, glove and, glove and rod, glove and sword, they're good, but it's like, there's almost you almost always can slam something unless you get like a tier and rod maybe maybe you don't want to slam uh, the archangels. Yeah. And this is like the reason why I I think armor is better for me personally is because you can go AD or AP from armor. But I yeah. guess that's the same same thought process with, with the glove. Like if you make a jewel. Pretty much, yeah. Much, yeah. So as long as you know what you're doing and why you're doing it, it's completely fine. Just wanted to like what what I do my thought process like every every I guess set or couple of patches I look at what items are are really crucial or like mm -hmm. are, are decent right are, are good enough to, to be slammed and with chain vest right now I'm happy with half of the chain vest items so that's why I like to I start do with. think if I'm in a game where I kind of feel like forcing a Felios I'm probably trying to take sword just because okay. you need. Yeah two to three of them, or else it feels really bad. I mean, he can use, he can even use four swords, like Deathblade, BT, IP, yeah. or, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I, I see what you mean with Vest, though, so. It, like, it, it's really up to you, but, like, as long as you know why, it's not, like, random. Yeah. I'm just surprised the Vest stays there, like, he goes cloak or Vest, okay. Well, it's low diamond. Okie dokie. And what server do you play on? NA. Because I see, I see the. So you don't want to. Are there any servers? I guess I don't know if you can play on. I think I could play on like Japan. Japan. I don't think I can get on the China servers. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. This is like an easy win streak. Oh yeah. Okay. Why are we, are we playing the Clut here? Uh, I think I sell it the next round, but. I don't think it can happen, but. Possibly you can make ten. Like just always only play what you're all, what you're willing to play. So it just yeah. like here it might not make a difference, but like whenever you're playing these early creep rounds, just play what you want to keep. Yeah. Just like a general rule, so that you're not forced to like keep a random club, so that you can't like sell sell stuff in pre level. Like yeah, last round if it was if it was one four. You maybe want to keep the poppy instead of the club. Yeah. Okay. Syndra, nice. Okay. Um. Huh. Rakan is a sentinel, and he's a pretty broken sentinel. But you could keep the Rakan. I like 
two starring units, which is why I try to just buy everything. Okay, yeah. I mean... Like, there's a couple three costs I'll definitely keep. Like, uh, Nunu, I keep every time. Yeah. Um, like, the, the Dawnbringers, I'll probably keep. But Rakan, I think, is... I mean, y y you could keep them, for sure. I don't think the Hellions are really good enough to buy there, so... I'm surprised by its level up. This is something I don't know if I should be doing or not, but I almost always level. Okay, you need to tell me exactly why you leveled. I am not confident enough pulling out of Lost Streaks to try and do, like, the stay at level 3 and stabilize later. Okay. So you already have your fourth Aatrox, right? Yeah. And you have a Nico. I, yeah. You can probably get a 3-star Aatrox by 3-1. Yeah. So, for like, this screams to me like uh, some sort of Aatrox, Callista, reroll comp. Yeah. With this opener. Okay. Uh, just like, just like from the from from the from the hand you've been dealt, right? And leveling here, like yes, hopefully you put in the least in, but there's not that much to be gained from leveling here, because like, is there any synergy you can actually play? You can play two brawlers, but you kind of have a lot of front line. You can play the least in, but it just like what did you say one round ago? By the way, if you remember. How buying all the one star units? Did you like the one cost units? Did you like the two star units? Yeah. So this is like you sell the three cost and then you level up so that you can't get as many one costs. Yeah. That kind of like either keep your three cost because you want to power level and put in expensive units, or you don't level and then you can e more easily two star your Senna, two star the the one cost units. Yeah, it's, it's like it's no, like, that, that does make more. This is definitely something I know I don't do well is choosing whether to level it to one or not. Like there's different playstyles. I'm not saying it's wrong to level, but it just mm -hmm. like you need to have a reason. Like when I ask you to be okay, I leveled here because I know by putting in Lee Sin I get a lot stronger, and I definitely want to play Syndra, and I'm doing that. Mm -hmm. But why is it really bad to level? Here, like, why do you think it's it's a bad idea? Just now that you look... Uh, you could really easily make 10 if you don't level. Um, that's one thing. Uh, but I don't know if you want to sell all the units. But there's a more important thing. Um, other than that, and then, I mean, you were talking about the Aatrox reroll, but I haven't... Even I wasn't even, even thinking of that, that right now, even so... more important than that. That, I don't know. Okay, you, why do we level? Be stronger. Uh-huh. Can you be strong with this opener right now? What is the one, mm. like, the main limiting thing preventing you from being strong right now? How do you get stronger? I mean, it's... I mean, maybe I'm just, like, not asking you the right question. Um, you have no items. Okay. That's why I think this is the wrong play, because you have no items. And you you, you might lose 2-1 anyway, because you cannot make an item. So if, you play, against, if you play anyone who has like a 2-star with like a... Any, any sort of armor item, like Bramble Vest, Sunfire Cave, or if someone has a Hodge, or if someone has like a IE Jewel Gauntlet, whatever. They have so much more damage than you. So you get a little bit stronger by leveling, but you cannot make an item. And like one item or no items is like a huge difference. That's why like, that's like the main deciding factor that you just cannot make an item. See, like this BT is gonna help him a lot. Okay, it was. I mean, you leveling here was was good. That you you did win here, but it's just risky. Okay, wait, wait, wait. 
Um, okay, so tell me, tell me why you chose the the rod that quickly. Um. Well, I think when I was for this game, I was still looking at playing flexibly. Yeah, I mean, wait, wait, I think right now I might. Not flexible. Okay. Mm. Uh, yeah, sorry. Keep, keep. Finish, finish your thought. You said you were you were looking to play flexibly. No, it really doesn't make much sense though. Uh, what is like? What is your flexible rod item, by the way? In Zeus. Oh, he, no, I'm in here. I'm in here. What do you mean? It's actually an Ionic Spark. The item you want to make here is Ionic Spark if you're going for Rod. Oh. I am notably terrible at slamming items in Stage 2. But There's best, like a couple that... Hmm? Vest is better for for the Stone Plate on your Aatrox, who actually heals. So, like, yeah. it'll be a super tank. Yeah. Okay, so you, you're giving me, like, contradicting answers, which is why you're... Pro like one of the reasons why I suck in diamond. So, yeah. you don't like the lost streak. You don't like the no. slime items. So what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> uh, <laughs> being enough better than diamond players that I can still win streak without slamming items. Uh, okay, but like once you once you reach master, like yeah, like higher. yeah, yeah. So, like you you can't be in the middle. Being in the like walking the fine thread. It works sometimes. It's mm -hmm. really, really good when it happens. Like when you can like level a little bit, play some strong units, not have to make items and still win streak. That's phenomenal. But like yeah. either you should be kind of like lost streaking and maybe going for two star or three star one cost if they just start showing up. Or mm -hmm. you're just slamming items like no tomorrow and just trying to preserve HP and win as much as you can. Cause like by leveling up early, it, it says like you want to win streak. And by not making any items, like if, if that guy, I mean this guy was really weak because he had no two stars. But if that guy had like a, yeah, okay, so yeah, you have a two star Aatrox. If he had a two star Olaf, he wins here because he has he has a yeah. BT. So yeah. like you won here just because you got lucky and you got a two star. But his board is would be like technically stronger if he had the same two stars. So. By not summoning items, you're just really, really weak. So that's why I would have gone with the with the armor to just make a make a frontline item. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh yeah, and you put in the Santa, which is which is good. <laughs> Anything else you could have done? Yeah, this is tough. Like I, I really like early Syndra, but I don't want to lose Legionnaire, and I don't want to lose Lee Sin, so you kind of have to play this setup, but I don't like it. Okay. Uh, did you consider leveling up and putting in Vlad here? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. You could. No, I didn't. That's just like another way of of being able to be greedy with items by putting another unit. Yeah. Because if you level a 5 here, you're more likely to win. Although against this Nidalee, it's going to be really tough. Yeah, it's a scary Nidalee. But like... I'm pretty sure I do lose this round, actually. Yeah, like, is this board strong? Not really. It's just the items that are strong, right? Like, if, if that Nidalee had yeah. no items, you completely clap this. Yeah. But because this Nidalee has items, even though I think everything is 1 star... I think Nilly's gonna go on town, go go to town on you, unless you like manage to CC here. But yeah, yeah, look at that. So maybe like an Ionic Spark could have helped. Maybe the Stone Play could have helped, <laughs> right? Because Nidalee kind of did a lot of damage to Aatrox as well. So just like, I think the Vlad could have helped as well. Honestly, like you didn't lose by that much. So that would have given Nightbringer a, at least, yeah. Yeah, Nightbringer Shield and Vlad kind of is not that bad on his own. So, yeah. You're like in between... Oh, nice. There's a Yasuo here. Wait, what? Okay. You really like the Syndra, don't you? 
Spindra just wins rounds early. Okay. Interesting that you didn't pre-level here, but okay. You want to make 10, why not? Yeah. So wait, was there anything actually that good? Hmm. Um, I don't think, like, yeah. none of these Poppy is maybe the best thing, but... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is right. I'm just looking at the units. Like, none of these units are actually worth keeping. So, I'm pretty sure you made the right play. Yeah. So, making 10 here is correct. Okay. But the rod really surprised me. It's like, you're, you're getting a rod for, like, a later item instead of a item that you can slam right away. Yeah. I'm trying to remember what I take here. I don't think it was. Okay, so we have cloak, belt, and rod. No, we have cloak, uh, glove, and rod. A glove, rod, yeah. Yeah, this is kind of tough. I think I might have taken, yeah, make the hodge. Huh. With these items, like, I don't like any of the items you can make. I guess Hodge is the best. The thing is, by taking the tier here, you're, you're probably going to get another tier. And tiers are, like, mm -hmm. the worst components ever. If you're, play if you're playing... You don't like Frozen Heart? It's, it's okay, but there, there's better armor items as well. It's true. So here... It's tough. Like, if you take the glove... If you take the glove, you can make a... TG. Okay. Okay. This is fine. But look at this. You still have these two components. So this should have been a spark right away. It should have been a spark or it should have been a um, stone plate. Okay. Because like, you're just going to have that lying around forever. Or like not forever, but for a really yeah. long time. Which is something you really, really don't want to have an item lying around. This was interesting. I remember trying to decide for a long time whether to level to 5 and put in Vlad or sell the Syndra and go to 20 gold. You'd put in Tristana. Not Vlad. Mm. Yeah, does make more sense. But Yasuo was broken. Yasuo yeah, I was like, alright, so I'll accept powerful. losing these for Econ, and then I won the next two rounds anyways. Yasuo is so powerful with Hodge. But imagine if you had if you had Ionic on Aatrox, that would make you even, even stronger. Like, I, that's just my, like, my playstyle, and I think it's, it's the easiest playstyle to just get a Century free top 4s. By slamming at yeah. it early... Like, you're just gonna deal more damage. I don't know if you watched the interview with Gluto's Maximus, who, I guess you didn't because you don't care that much about EU, but he's the one who who won the EU qualifiers. No, I'll check it out, though. Yeah, um, I mean, like, the, the most important thing is, like, that he said was that he doesn't care just about winning rounds, but about doing the most damage to opponents. Yeah. Which is something I, I try to focus on as well. Maybe I haven't been doing as good of a job of it lately, but it's so so important because like if you if you had the ionic spark maybe you win this level and maybe you do two more damage to each of these guys mm. and it just that just means they're going to die sooner that just means maybe like one of one of these guys are not going to be able to make a comeback at one hp if you if you like did more damage to them <laughs> so that that's like that's another like very high level thing but i think it's it's really cool to think about that, like, the more damage you do to your opponents, the sooner they die, and that means if you have a good early game, even if you fumble the late game, it's going to be hard not to get top four because people are just going to start dying off, thanks to the damage you did to them. Yeah. And it also kind of speeds up the lobby, so people who are trying to be greedy, they can't be as greedy. Huh. Yeah, that's why I'm not such a big fan of of, uh, of glove because there's not that many easy slams of glove. 
Yeah, so this was a Atrox reroll game. We know that now. <laughs> I don't know. Are you familiar with the card? I've played it once or twice. Not enough to be really happy about it. Why do you think Leona is stronger than Vlad here? Uh... Probably not. Because Vlad has Nightbringer, right? Yeah. Also, why do you not level here? Um. A good question. I think. Here's kind of what I feel looking at the, that board. I feel like I'm not really strong enough. Like, I don't think I'm going to continue this win streak through all of stage three, right? Okay, why not? I don't... I mean, it depends if I hit, like, a two-star Yasuo or something. But I guess I'm kind of already expecting to lose the streak at some point. So I'd rather... But why? Keep... Why, would, why do you think you're going to lose the streak? I just don't... Like, this board's okay. I just don't think it's great, though. I don't think it's... Okay, gr like, okay, but what are you basing your thought process on? There's, like, a huge lack of information here. I think if I had another, like, a two-star front line, or if I had, like, two-star that Yasuo or something, but you're, then I... You're, you're not compared to anything. You have to look at the other fucking boards, bro. Yeah. You're telling me that I'm not strong enough. Strong enough for what? To beat who? Like, you spent 30 seconds not scouting a single board. Like, you're telling, like, yes, I agree with you, you're probably not that strong. But I don't know how strong the people in the lobby are. Maybe they don't have any two stars. Maybe they have, they have two star three costs. We don't know that. Right? So that's, like, really vital information you, you have given to you, like, just by clicking on these people. Or by, by scouting. By pressing, I think it's uh, one and three. I use one and three, I believe. I use Q and R, but yeah. Yeah, sure. So, like, Yes, I, you're giving me valid points, you're not strong enough, but you need to compare that to other people. Yeah. So maybe by leveling here and putting in, like, one more Aatrox or Callista or something, you're going to beat everybody. Maybe not. But what I need you to do is actually scout, and then, then you can give me an honest answer, right? Then you can say, okay, I see this guy has this unit, this guy has that unit, he'll beat me. Yeah, so please, please, like, you cannot tell me that you're not going to be strong enough without actually looking at other people. It's not like a, it's not like a game of StarCraft or something where you're in fog of war. Like, you can look at everyone. Like this guy. You beat him. For sure. Oh, yeah. But you could have, maybe you could have beat him doing even more damage, right? As we talked about a bit ago, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, I mean, okay, like, being at 50 gold is super greedy and it's super good. I'm happy it worked out, but, like, maybe looking at some other boards, you could have seen, okay, this guy, I can beat. Oh, nice. Very nice. Also, if you had pre if you had level up already, you would have, like, a better shot. Okay, so maybe we roll a little bit. No. No? We don't roll a little bit here? We have a Yasuo no. pair. We have a Leona pair. We have a four win streak, we're at 40 gold. No? Okay. I'm rolling. <laughs> rolling, okay, okay. I do, I do tend to either be way too greedy and just try and stay at 50 for level 7, or get way too, I don't know, ungreedy, I guess, and trash my econ. It's usually one or the other. I'm not very good at rolling an appropriate amount at level 6. But this was so close. Right? And had you scouted, yeah. you could have said, oh, like, this lobby isn't that strong. Like, maybe if I roll down to 20 here and hit a two-star Yasuo, hit some upgrades, I can mm. continue with streaking. But I have so much health. Isn't it better just to sit at 50 gold and be rich as hell when I get to level 7? That Okay, that is another option. If you're comfortable with that, then that's fine. 
But what you told me on stage two is you don't want to lose a lot of HP. And now on stage three, you're going to be losing even more HP. Yeah. Like, I'm just going off what you tell me. Like, you told me... You're no, 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 it does not... So... <sighs> I don't know, I feel like it... I may just be bullshit, but it, it feels different at different stages of the game, right? Like, stage two, I heavily prefer to win streak. Or at least just, like, preserve health. But then in stage 3, I guess it feels like I can do more with the gold if I sacrifice gold. If I sacrifice health for gold, that gold's more effective because I'm rolling at a higher level. Um, you do realize it's compounding gold, so if you get more gold on stage 2, you're going to be even richer on stage 3, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, and also... Uh, maybe, was... maybe it just doesn't make sense at all. No, uh, it, it kind of... I'm trying gently to guide you towards you realizing it doesn't make sense because... <laughs> On stage 3, you take 2 stage damage, and yeah. you're more likely to lose by a bunch of units. Like, on stage mm -hmm. 2, you typically don't lose by 3, like, like you, you can lose by 3 units, by, like, 3-4 units. But, like, if you have an okay-ish board, you're not going to lose by that much. Mm -hmm. While stage 3 is, is kind of when it starts getting a bit worse. And stage 4, like, it, it's really bad. So... Lost streaking stage 2 is completely fine. You don't want to be lost streaking... St like, stage 4 never, stage 3 maybe. Mm. But you're on a win streak. So, like, yeah. even even if you roll this down to 0, and you win all, all these rounds, you get the gold back, because it's like 3 gold, 3 gold, 3 gold, 3 gold, 3 gold. You get 15 gold from 5 win streak. All of these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 rounds. Yeah. So, and, and you keep your HP. That, that's like the, the, the benefit of playing for win streak and staying strong is your economy is kind of still okay because you're getting the win streak gold and you're preserving HP on top of it. But let's let's see like what happens later. Nothing good. Yeah. Even just playing some of like more Aphelios recently, I can already tell I should not have been trying to play Aphelios this game. I like, okay, so when did you decide you want to play Aphelios, by the way? I wasn't really aiming for it. Okay. I was just trying to roll down at 7, and that was the carry I hit. Okay, okay, so that, that's good. Like, you're not determined to play him, okay. I think from here, like, without a single sword, I would probably never touch Aphelios. Okay, let's see if you improve your board here. Oh, you're scouting? Nice, nice. Ugh. This is so painful. What is your strongest board right now? Uh, well, clearly I thought it was this because I played it. Well, look at your shop. Yeah. You have Nidalee and Kenan here. Right? Yeah. That skirmisher, Nidalee is just super strong. True. You also have Tristana. If you play Tristana over Leona, your Senna's gonna do more damage, and you get like a few more frontline units from, from the Hellions. How valuable is Knight here? Uh, I don't think it's that good on the stage three. Like it's 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 okay-ish. But I'd say you don't want to be playing one cost units, one cost one stars. Yeah, that's true. I think the power of of Ken stunning everything and Nidalee just being a broken unit is probably higher value. Yeah, I think I agree. Now that you pointed out, I definitely didn't notice yeah. that before. So it's either like you can play Tristana, you can play Kenan Tristana, for example, over these two, mm -hmm. or you can play Kenan and Nidalee. That, that's what I meant when I wrote when I wrote you like you should be changing your board almost every every stage or like every every other round essentially. So this guy is even greedier than you, so he gets punished. Wow, that's a super weak board. Okay. Okay, here it's actually an easy decision. Let's see what you do. Oh, wow. 
Okay, what the fuck was that? What is... Okay, just... I'll, I'll let you look at this for a little bit longer. I think if I want... Okay. I think at this point I was considering, like, Yasuo reroll. Exactly, right? Yeah, so you want the bow to make a uh, hurricane. I already have the cloak. Yeah, or you can just grab the Yasuo and two-star your Yasuo and win streak for like three more or four more rounds. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I noticed him over there. I don't, just... No, yeah, 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 yeah. Like... <laughs> I definitely didn't even consider that, or else I think I would have done it. I hope I would have done it, good god. Like, yes, you can make a Runad, sure. You can make a Rage Blade. Oh, nice, it's good. How did I really not make the Runans here? Oh, I don't think it's that important right now. Okay, you did make it. I did. Okay. okay. I do... I feel like sometimes I just... I purposely hold off on making items on that stage specifically. Just because you're about armory? to get the Radiant. Before Armory, I agree. Before Armory, I completely agree. Okay. Making that Runans is actually... Like, you didn't level up. Your board is still kind of whatever the fuck. Like, it's weak. You're going to get completely clapped here. And yeah. by making that Runans, instead of holding up for Ginsu's Rageblade, like, you kind of locking yourself out of Ophelios by not by not having the option to, play, to make a Ginsu's. Yeah. Because, like, by doing this, you're committed to, to Jax or, or Yasuo, by the way, by slamming this. Okay. Especially on 3-5, like, when you can just wait one round and see what your Radiant items are. Yep, completely demolished. Okie dokie. Okay. Fuck, don't you wish you had perfect Aphelos items now? <laughs> right? Like. Yeah, if, if only. It was one round and you'd have Hodge, Deathblade, and Gwinsos. Yeah. Damn, man. Feels kind of bad. I mean, it's still, it's still probably Deathblade, right? Like, I think the only argument is that I don't have any defensive items right now. I think I don't remember what I take here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Fair point. You have a glove. Yeah, I think so... you can make an argument for either. You have a glove. I mean, Yasuo is actually a decent item holder for Aphelios, because, like, you kind of have the Nightbringers around anyway. Yeah. Um, okay, so are we... Con yeah, there was no reason to not buy the Ash here if we're considering Aphelios. Also, selling the, the Nightbringers. Yeah. At this point, I definitely just didn't understand Aphelios. I also, so I also wasn't aiming for Aphelios right here. Okay, uh, if it's completely free, you buy the you buy the Ash. Yeah. Like here, it was completely free, and it's like maybe you don't want to play Aphelios, but it's like there is an Ash, ash in the shop. Maybe I get Aphelios in the next shop. So like, the op opportunity cost of of buying the Ash, like I don't know how to put like like. No, 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 I, I know what you mean. The value of having There's no ash, reason not to. The value of having an ash on your bench is infinitely times higher than just putting four gold into leveling. You agree with me there? Yeah. Yeah? Yep. Like, putting the gold into leveling does absolutely nothing for you, while buying the ash is, like, it can give you an option. So, yes, yeah, sometimes I do this stupid shit as well, but it's, like, always better to buy... <laughs> Buy unit. Okay. Okay, cool. Wait, we leveled here? Why did we level here? Why not? Because you might not make 50? Okay, you do make 50, but it's like... It's a creep round, right? Yeah. Like... That seems very, like, iffy to me, because, like, if you don't make 50, then it's just, like, you're losing one gold for 
really nothing. Well, like one well but if you... I mean, you want to be level 7 on 4-1, right? Yeah, so you can level on 4-1. But then you're wasting 2 gold if you never go to 9. Well, I guess you're always going to go to 8. If you never go to 8, I mean, I don't know. Well, how are you wasting gold? It's the same the same level. You're wasting a shop. You 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 would you would pay 1 gold for a one higher tier level shop essentially. Yeah, which at least personally I'm I think that's a fair trade. But if you don't you waste 2 gold if you level on like the off intervals? Yeah, but it's it's the gold you spend here, anyway. Like, you would spend the same amount of gold anyway, right? It's not that you're, you're leveling earlier, not later. Like, you waste two yeah. gold, you waste the gold here or on 4-1, because 4-2 is when you would get that two gold. Right? Does that make sense? Sort of. Because, the like, on 4-2... You're going to have 4 experience. Yeah. You would have 4 experience on 4-2, whether you leveled now or whether you leveled on 4-1. On so you're like, you're like pre-wasting okay, the 2 I, I see gold. What, I see what you mean. You're pre-wasting you the 2 okay. gold. You're not, you're not saving 2 gold, you're pre-wasting it or whatever like, <laughs> that would be called. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, okay. Wasting it, instead of wasting gold 1 turn early, you're wasting gold 2 turns early. Okay, there we go. There's the Asuo, and there's Aphelios. Oh, shit. Okay, now it's now it's fucked. Yeah, now it's like, why the hell didn't we take like a covalent spark or something? So, yeah, I think that the main decision was here. Taking the re Redemption or the Clavelin Spark would have been better than Deathblade. Why do you say that? Because of what happened on Just because there's no... What could have happened? there's no front line? Well, because you two-starred your Ophelios, so you could have just uh, two-starred your, your uh, Yasuo. So you could have just re-rolled Yasuo, right? If you had taken yeah. the front line item, you could have just re-rolled Yasuo. Yeah, that's true. But now it's like, okay, so you have a two-star Yasuo with a Death Blade, so you need to sell it and, like, remake it. Yeah. And there's no rolling going on here, interesting. Okay. I mean, this Yasuo is actually... Oh, never mind, kind of strong. But it's... Oh, it's a two-star... <laughs> Two star karma. Yeah, until he got dunked on by karma. Okay, why are we still not buying the ash over the over the thresh? Because I didn't understand how to play Aphelios. But you do know he's a ranger, and you need another ranger, right? It's yeah. I'm not saying it's smart. Okay. But yeah. As long as we we're aware of that. What the fuck? Oh, it's about to get worse. Okay. How many frontline items do you have? Uh, approximately zero. Approximately zero. Um, like maybe get like a TG or or something. Right, like you not know, just take the belt and build a track claw. Um, but track claw doesn't do anything for your frontline. Like you desperately need frontline, and sure. TG here for for your Leeson is like a decent enough frontline item. Cause right yeah. like right now you have perfect or like whatever not perfect but like reasonably good backline items, right? Mm -hmm. So backline items are done. You're done. Now you just need something for frontline. So a TG is a frontline item, or even like the belt or armor that you can you can make another item right from the carousel. Yeah. But it's never Nikos. Ni like, Nikos when do you, doesn't when do exist. You, 
When do you take the Nikos you when don't. it's offered in these kind of shops? You don't. You don't? Okay. You never take a Nikos. All right. Okay. You would take if you had if you had seven seven Yasuos, maybe you take the Nikos, for example. Yeah. I don't think you even want to take the Nikos if you're if like if you're three starring a uh, three cost. I think that's the only reason to take it. If yeah, if, if you're a three starring a three cost, or if for some reason you have two five costs and you can two star five cost. Okay, I was gonna ask if you have because if like that Aphelos was an auction. Yeah. Would you take it and slam yeah. the two star auction? Now that you now that you have two Nikos, yes, yes, definitely. Okay, so if I didn't have the first Nikos, I never would have taken the second one. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. But I'm pretty sure I slammed the Nikos on Aphelios here, and then it yeah. all goes to shit. Um, okay, why Why do you think that's bad? Uh, I think these are not very good Aphelios items. That's kind of true. But the I main think... reason... Yeah, sorry, sorry. You, you give me your reasons. Okay. If I had... Specifically, I think even if that Hodge was a Bloodthirster... This might have gone better for me. Minor detail. I, for, maybe it's something else. For some reason, Hods versus Bloodthirster just feels enormously different it to does, me. On uh, the, I I mean, as, I, like, as I mentioned, Hodge is kind of like it gives you more attack damage, which you already get from the Death Blade, so it's kind of really wasted. Yeah. yeah. So I, I don't know. Okay, maybe this is not. Or maybe if it bad, was the reason why Nikos is super bad. Is because look how much fucking gold you have. You gotta get a few of in a few shops anyway, right? Hopefully. It's it's like statistically it's quite likely. Yeah. You already have one Aphelios and one in a Nikos. Mm-hmm. So like getting the Nikos here instead of an item, like you have six com um, eight components, right? Like. You only you typically only get twelve components, so it's like that's one twelfth of your items gone, or more like mm -hmm. one eleventh, whatever. Like ten percent of your items is Nico worth an item when it's like when you only like if if this was like some super whatever the galaxies were like the item galaxy, then maybe Nico's is okay. But the fact is like you don't get that many items, so like Nico's is very 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 niche. Um, yeah. Also, what you mentioned, which would be decent, right, is you take the Nikos, you level to 8 here, and you, you roll for, like, a Akshan, I guess. Yeah. I guess that's one of the options. I can't think of any... Um, Kale, actually. You, you can maybe play Kale, like, 2-star Kale of this, maybe. Would be okay. So, like, if you have double Nikos... You're not using it. You're not using double Nikos on stage four for a fucking four cost. No. That just I don't know. That just just sad. Okay. Maybe I maybe I didn't do that. You didn't do that. Nice. I think I used them on Viego. Okay. Interesting. You start Viego. I feel is just so fucking annoying. Annoying, yes. Hard to position <laughs> and maybe not super powerful, but. Not super powerful. I mean, you have to, you have to sweat positioning really, really hard. Yeah. We have two karma players. If two star karma happens, um, yeah, you didn't. You, I guess you didn't scout this guy. You kind of, if you if you can, if you remember, always figure out what the blessing is. What do you mean? Well, once anyone drops below 40 HP, they get the Blessing, right? Oh, uh, is that how it works? Yeah. So you look at their board and you see what the Blessing is. Okay. I honestly didn't know that. I wasn't playing during, like, the start of this set. Okay, well, So the Blessing do. was a, <laughs> a surprise. Ooh, what, what, what are we doing here? So... Wait. We're cutting... Okay, I'm a little. Okay, that's for for it's actually not that bad for the. For this. I don't know how that is. How is how is that better? That okay. This putting in more Nightbringers makes your Yasuo stronger. That's kind of okay. 
But how is Irelia stronger than two star eight rocks? Yeah, probably not. It's it's a two star. Yeah. And that's a one star. So that that's that's it. Like And why is Irelia in there anyway? Like isn't Pike infinitely better with a stun? Right? Like Pike has a uh, stun. Don't you want Legionnaire on Yasuo? Oh shit, yeah, 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 sorry, sorry, you do, you, you do need Legionnaire. So then it's Aatrox, yeah. Yeah. Okay, you're getting your Blessing. And you do realize, like, you dropped a lot of HP losing, like, just a few rounds. Right? Yeah. yeah. And that yeah. happens stage 2 and stage like 4. like 40 HP. Yeah. Like, stage 2 losing 40 HP, it's kind of hard. Like, losing 40 HP stage 2. <laughs> stage 3 and stage 4, it's a few rounds. Like, yeah. Hmm. Now the consideration is, is like, Kale maybe? You could instantly two star, okay, it's gone. Uh, so you go for the VA. Wait, what? Okay, okay. I think I was realizing that I had absolutely no front line. Okay. Taking some semblance of a defensive item. But yeah, I, I think really think this is I even Taking the death blade was the wrong, wrong choice here because we had some we needed frontline items which you didn't we didn't have. Okay, we're leveling here. We're putting in Pike. We're hopefully buying Galio. We're rolling. We're doing something, bro, bro. What are you doing? You don't think that was strong enough to stay on here? Uh, fuck no! Like, ah. <laughs> You just won one random round. You're losing all the rounds before. I don't know. I don't think this is strong enough. And the, the frustrating thing is you didn't scout again. So we can't know if it's strong enough or not because we don't know what we're comparing it to. Right? Like, yeah. you have free information. I don't know if you, have, if you ever played like Age of Empires, Starcraft, any like any of these, these strategy games. Have you? Uh, not too much, no. But it's like, in any strategy game, you kind of don't, like, you need to figure out what your opponent is doing and counter it. In this game, you can see in real time what your opponents are doing. And you can easily counter them, like, you can easily, okay, this guy is strong, this guy is weak, okay, I'm probably too weak for this lobby, and like, like, right now, yes, you have 30 gold, but okay, maybe you do win here, but it's just like, so risky. I guess for this lobby it is strong enough, but to me it seems not strong enough. You're buying the Galio, right? It doesn't cost you anything. Ugh. Did you sell the center by the Galio, no? Yeah. Or I don't know. Just I would have just bought the Galio even like even if you keep the center, just buy the Galio. <laughs> oh, okay, so you're playing Irelia for Sentinel Shield. Smart. Marked. Uh, oh yeah, I hope I thought of that. That's why you put the Irela over the Aatrox, right? Because on, on A, you were going to put in Pike. Okay. Yeah, we'll go with that. At 8, I think that's a good enough reason to do it. At 7, it should have been the uh, Aatrox. Okay, why is this not an Aphelios game? Well... I got six. <laughs> no, but because the last two guys you played are playing Ophelios. Oh, that too. I mean, yes, you can double Nico him, but it's just like the, the other units are going to be contested, like like Diana, for example, is going to be contested. Yeah. So you get your blessing. Okay, well, that's useless. You're rolling now. Why are you rolling now? I I know it's 
not optimal, but I just like having more time to think. I'm not very good with like the fast roll downs. Yeah, that's the correct play actually. It is it is correct because you you have way too much gold and you need to change a lot of units. So I'm I was just asking and you know why you're doing it. Yeah. Yeah, this is fine. Maybe you finally sell the Senna and get to twenty or or not. Okay, you sell the. Okay. Yeah, we got really screwed by items here, so it it's definitely the... it's a little unfortunate, but yeah, it there could have been better choices made. It's definitely the frontline item there. Yeah. If you, if you had picked up a frontline, like first of all. At the start of the game, when I said you should have slammed the stone plate or the spark, that would have yeah. been really good, right? To have a frontline item, and then from the from the armory, getting a frontline item as well would be, would have been very important. Yeah. What the? F ah! What is this? You you what? you could have had a two star auction. Yeah. Why not load and dice the videos first? Ah, uh, I have no idea. Okay. Why is two star Viego fucking useless? Uh I don't know. I thought he was I thought it was a pretty good unit. Okay, what items I lose I lose to a lot of Viegos. But it's like he's not that great of a carry. He's he's like He's a really good utility unit. Like if you have a normal, like if you have a comp, and then you put in a random two-star Viego, it's really good. But mm -hmm. if you're like focusing around the Viego, it just typically doesn't pay off. But it's, this is like, uh Yeah, yeah. Cause that could have been two-star Akshan. Holy fuck! Oh, what? Uh. And we don't have a, we don't have a Ranger. Okay. So, yeah, this is like, Viego, please carry me. Yeah, that's what I expected to happen. So, shouldn't we have, like, a um, completely different comp, then? I wouldn't say, I mean, yeah. Shouldn't we have, like, four Forgotten, maybe, if we're playing Viego carry? Yeah, if I'd planned this out well and hadn't played it like shit. Because, like, okay, so... So, this is not Aphelios carry. This is not an Aphelios, like... What you need to think about is uh, enabling your most powerful unit. Yeah. So, who is the strongest and best unit on your team? Like, you think it's Viego. It might actually be Viego, right? With those stars, I think so, yeah. Yeah. So then it's like, how do I enable him the most? Right? So like, how do I like put in a Draven instead of a Filios maybe? And yeah. then put in, somehow like try to put in four Forgottens. Like a, a Thresh and a MF. Mm -hmm. Then he becomes, like he has no damage items by the way. That's why Viego's not doing anything. If, he, if you have a Forgotten comp, if you have four Forgotten, He's going to steal one unit after another. With no damage items, it takes a while for him to steal anything. And I feel like yeah, I think I just kind of sat at this and waited for it to work, and it didn't. But the, like I'm telling you, the reason it didn't work is because he doesn't have a support crew. You always want to yeah. build around the carry and like support the carry. Are there any of the legendaries that are strong enough that you don't need to do that? You just two-star them and... Well, Akshan, for example, would have been really good, right? Yeah, yeah. well... Uh, wait, 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 we're missing legendaries, by the way. There was, a, uh, I mean... The Heimer, maybe not, but the... Definitely the Garen, right? Like... Yeah... Be... Yeah. Also, if you're rolling, buy out all the legendaries, maybe to, to have, like, better odds on Akshan. Um, so here it's, it's, um, yeah, this is, this is, like, you put yourself in a really shitty spot. Yeah, it didn't need to go like that, good god. 
You missed the Sag, but at least you hit the Aphelios. Okay, there you go. Finally doing something. Yeah, but it, it just loses a couple rounds and gets knocked out quickly from there. Yeah, that shouldn't have been a six at all. Especially since you had double Nico. Yeah. Right? And you, you could have had you could have had two star Akshan. Two star Akshan with like these are probably best in like almost best in slot, like the Deathblade, Runant, and the Hodge. Because it's super yeah. good on him, because his ultimate is like uh, get a, a lot more attack speed and just fly around. So he would just mm -hmm. keep healing, keep shooting everything, and yeah, two star Akshan is way better than two star Viego. Yeah. Okay. So we're, yeah, I guess we're just rolling for upgrades now. There we go. Okay. So, you gotta fucking sweat it hard with the Viego. Like, you put all your eggs in this basket, and you're not even, like, trying to snipe them with the Viego. Like, why did you win the last fight? Because he took the, he took the Aphelios. So if you're playing against players who are at least a little bit competent, look at that. Yeah. Like, what is he doing? He's gonna try to steal a volley, which he can't steal. He's gonna walk around and die. Diana's really, like, Diana placement is really good. Uh, wait, do you know how to... Okay. Do you know how to fuck with people with assassins, by the way? I don't really know what you're talking about specifically, okay. so no. You put everything in the back row, which means they walk up. Yeah. So if you put if you put the, the Viego here somewhere and Adana here, and you put everything in the back row, these units are going to have to walk up more to start attacking. Okay. Because everything is in the second row, like they walk up one row, I believe. Or, yeah, see, they walk up a little bit, mm -hmm. right? But the but the karma stays there. So even if you had the Viego here, there would be room for him to jump in and actually maybe steal the karma or Nidalee. Yeah. Okay. So this is like you're committed to Viego, but you're yeah, not giving poorly. him like the, the the royal pamper treatment he needs. Like he's your one and only hope. Like, and you're not showing me that you care enough about him. Like, yeah. with Viego, like, you give him items, you two-star him, and it's like, okay, well, you're not doing much, Viego. Why not? Well, you don't <laughs> put him in the spot to succeed. Like, imagine if he... Oh, wow, okay. That was very close. But he, if he had been grabbing, like, the right units... Yeah. So now it's like, okay, maybe you get another... Okay. Another... Okay, this is interesting. I would have gone for... Either a tank item or a, a Phyllis item. Um, so, okay. My feeling right now, I think, is that you pretty much always want, like, one healing reduction item, right? True. I or mean, is that just... Uh, okay, so what is in this lobby? So we have some Karmas, we have some Phyllis of Healing, so... Kind of. The Morello is not that bad. But the last whisper for Ophios is important, or the, or the stone plate, which like we have no fun on items. So the Morello, it's it gives you 200 HP, while the stone plate makes your Galio a really good tank. Yeah. Like how? Okay, that's that's the thing we, we, we chatted a bit about. How do you win the fight? What is your? Uh, win? you need to keep your front line alive long enough for Aphelios to cast, basically. Or for Viego to steal a couple people. Exactly. So what what enables that the most? Uh, probably not that 200 HP. Yeah, it's a stone plate. The stone plate makes your Galio tank longer, meaning your Aphelios can pop off more or your Viego can steal more shit. So yes, I agree with you, it's good to have some sort of healing debuff. But that's not your, like, but. your issue right now is not that the units are healing too quickly. Yeah. Especially since you have, like, Viego. Viego doesn't care about healing. Viego just steals the unit. Even if they have um, Dawnbringer, his, his ultimate scales off of time. So, like, if he gets the full five seconds, he can usually steal a unit. 
So the, the crucial thing is stall. The most crucial yeah. thing is stall. I think it's volley here, yeah. Volley rel. You just buy them. Okay. Um <laughs> Volley over I think it's volley over not here, right? Knight does absolutely nothing. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. It's a stun. Yeah. And you could have put the mortals on him if you had waited. Or, like, maybe even Rel over Nautilus, if she casts, it's big. Right? Yeah. Oh, this is so frustrating. Why <laughs> is the Viego not jumping over here? Uh, because I was a lazy and didn't scout. But, like, okay, so there's two options. Either don't play assassins or you have to fucking scout <laughs> you can't play assassins without scouting and and positioning correctly yeah like the the biggest strength of viego is he steals your carry right and here it's like he's just stealing random stuff Like, how the hell do you lose this? Look at his fucking board. Look at his board, look at your board. Who has a stronger board? Uh, I would say me. Yeah, right? But it's just the positioning. Yeah. You get hit by I'm Diana. Sorry. Yeah. And you don't do, like, if you swap Diego and Aphelios, you completely destroy this guy. Like, his mm, Diana yeah. just hits the front line, Aphelios is pop popping off. And you take his affiliates, no chance. So it's like, yes, this comp is kind of scuffed. Whatever. You got to this situation. <laughs> but it's still top horrible. Like, I know sometimes it's like, you, you get pissed off that like, the game went really poorly, but it's like, okay, well, how do I make it, how do I make it top four here? There was another rel. I think I was just praying for the auction at this point. Dude, you have so much time. Ugh. I mean, it's yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I... <laughs> so I like there were several mistakes. So let's just let's just recap some of them. Oh fuck. Okay. <laughs> So, what are the main mistakes you remember? Uh, the rod at like stage two armory, I think was a mistake. Yep, agree. So in, in stage two, I think that was a mistake. You can argue about leveling or not leveling and it could have been improved, but I don't think it was a disaster. Okay. So why was it rod? Like rod itself was the smaller mistake that which you remembered actually. Well, rod and then not slamming yeah. item. You're right. So it's like maybe I, I mean cloak is not that bad though. Cloak is not that bad. So like, but you're gonna like you're gonna use the, you're gonna use the cloak anyway. So yeah, it's based on you whether whether ionic spark or stone blade is is better. I think stone blade is better than ionic spark, personally. So that's what I would slam. So yeah, stage two. First armory, first mistake. I think the rest of stage two, I'm trying to remember, I took what, I took a tier and made Hodge. Yeah, that's probably fine. Yeah. Uh, I don't think there were... You want it to be flexible, which is fine. I don't think there's anything too much better at that carousel. Okay. Um... If I remember right, I could be wrong. Um, then stage three, one. Uh, I mean, then it's just about greeting at 50 gold versus leveling. Versus leveling and definitely scouting. Because you're telling me, like, you're not strong yeah. enough, but 
Like I was trying to get you say like strong enough compared to who? Yeah. Okay. What else? What was next? Uh, after that, let's see. I do think I could have rolled down a bit at like at six. Yup. Completely agree here. Probably right here. should have. Yeah. On a four win streak for sure. Right. And then and you roll down, you're stronger. Yeah. 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 And then obviously not just missing the uh, the Yasuo at the carousel. Yeah, carousel. It's like it was a bit of an oof. Um, yeah. And then it all goes to shit. I think. No, and there the was another, another big mistake which we realized, like which we were. Oh, uh, the the Kenan. No, Kenan no, no, Nidalee that's, board. That's that's not 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 a big one. Like a really big one. The armory? Yep. Oh yeah, I was getting there. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, 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 you're good. This is... I don't know. I still... Like, Deathblade is just so good. But I also just have no tank items. Yeah. I think... I think Radiant, I think the Redemption is definitely the right choice here, yeah. but in some ways I don't feel awful about taking the Deathblade. But looking at this, you, you actually have like, maybe not perfect, but decent enough Yasuo items, right? Like if you summon the... Yeah, I also could have just the Jewel played Gauntlet. Yasuo here. So it's like Jewel yeah. Gauntlet, Hodge, Runans, it's it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you have like a Covalent Spark or a Radiant Redemption. I would probably take Redemption. I sure, Redemption's you. fine. Especially if Yasuo has, like, no attack range items, so everything's just gonna be clumped up all the time. Yeah. So this could've, like, this could've given you way better direction. Yeah. I think if I had just stayed with Yasuo carry there, it would've got better. Yep. So what else was there? Stage 4. Then... Hmm? Yeah. Stage 4, then Nico's... Yeah, that yeah. A was a mistake, and then B, once I made the mistake, I continued to make poor decisions after making the mistake. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a mess. Um, there was some leveling and rolling issues in stage four. Like you said, I went to eight, and I, I think when I went to eight was fine, but you were saying I should have rolled down after at eight rather than trying to econ for two more rounds and then rolling. Like, you are strong enough, but it's like, you can just power up, maybe you do a bit more damage to, to the other guys, and you kind of get your comp together sooner. And then there was the, yeah. okay, so, like, maybe you waited for the Radiant Blessing, which was, which is, which is okay. But then, like, you nico the Viego before... Oh, uh, yeah, that was just awful. I don't have an excuse yeah. for that. Yeah. Like, you got a, you got a free Akshan two-star, and you didn't take it. So, yeah. Like, that was probably, like, the biggest mistake of the late game. So it's, like, it's really cool. Like, there were so many turning points where you could have still turned around, right? Like, it wasn't just, like, one mistake. It was, like, the armory mistake, the, the Nico's mistake, the not just going Yasuo mistake. Yeah. And then your biggest mistake at the end... Uh, like committing so. all my board and items to Viego and then doing nothing about it. Yeah. Like no scouting or no forgotten. Yeah, not not using the Viego to his full potential. That was very painful. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, Viego is powerful, but he's only powerful if you use him right. Yeah. So that's, like, something you, like, and maybe you realize, like, okay, I don't want to sweat so much, so then you just can't play Assassins. That's like something you can think about. Like, I don't want to sweat, I don't want to reposition, so then you can't play that comp. That's basically it. If you're not going to move your stuff, you cannot play that comp. Yeah. Yeah. So now we can skim through the other game, just probably a bit faster and look at recurring patterns. Yeah. So let's see here. This up. So 
So you prefer sword over bow, that's personal preference. Again, okay, so let's just look at the table. What are good sword items you want to make? Bloodthirster, Shoujins are the two I would definitely slam early. Shoujin, really? Yeah. Okay. I mean, it, it commits you pretty hard to AP comps, but... Okay. I... I don't know, I like I Velkaz. Yeah, okay, so there's like these ones, and Bow gives you uh, RFC, Titan, uh, Guns, Rage Blade, and Last Whisper. So I think Bow gives yeah. you one more option over Sword. But it's 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 close. Like they're it's not yeah. like a huge difference. Yeah. As long as you as long as there's items you, because that's like the the biggest thing I think about, and we saw in the last game is you couldn't slam an item on stage on on like two one two two. So I try to start with an item knowing like in, like having the highest odds of being able to slam something. Oh wow. What? Nocturne? No? You have a sword and you have a Nocturne? Poor Nocturne. Okay, okay. Um, so... Uh, do you want to play this Nautilus? Uber. Hmm? Yeah, do you want to play this Nautilus? Like, do you want to keep this Nautilus for some reason? Yeah, I like Nautilus early. Okay. Um, so like, the, the better or easier play is just to put two zigs in. To just keep your options open. You can just... Not two star the zigs and put two zigs in. So then you have three units, and then you buy the zigs. Does that make sense? I I think so. In case you wanna like what sell the the Nautilus and the Iron Sell them. Because mm -hmm. now you can't level. I'm not saying like here. Obviously, if you're gonna be rerolling uh, rerolling Hellions, you don't wanna level. But yeah. you can't. You don't have the option anymore because you're playing a Nautilus, which you don't need to play this round. Alternatively, you only got two items, right? So you can mm -hmm. maybe you can maybe get six gold here. Maybe, maybe not. But like, holy shit! Uh, <laughs> two, four, six. Even eight, if ten, even if I did get six gold, I think. I think I probably would. I also would rather keep the Aurelia. I feel like Aurelia is so good early. But you have two star Hellions already. Yeah. Like he, like making ten here is completely insane. Like yeah, mathematically okay. insane because you get you have ten here, which means you're guaranteed ten on two one, which means you're guaranteed twenty on two two. Like. Yeah. And you like you rock it off your econ. So that's that's just like me saying like oh maybe keep Nautilus on the bench so that would have been ten gold right there. Yeah. And that would give you like a huge huge econ advantage over the lobby. So you just don't like real all comps, do you? Okay. You, yeah, you, you mentioned that. No. No, I don't really play like one star reroll comps. I don't. I don't think they're very good right now, honestly. Um, it's like, if it doesn't cost you anything, you just keep them. If you get, like, six of them, then you just do it. Yeah. Like, you, you can't re-roll just like, I'm going to re-roll. It's like, okay, I've got, you had, like, four Aatroxes on 2-1, and now you had, like, four uh, Kleds on 2-1, right? So, yeah. Oh, wow, this is, this is really strong. I like this. Oh, wait, uh, we missed a... Uh... It was a... Uh... I really don't know what I'd take here. You really don't care about funnel items, do you? I have been 
correcting that in like the last day or two. <laughs> so right now you have I had a, a couple blade. off. You have a death blade, which you kind of yeah. don't have a good user of, but maybe you put it on Cled. And you have a belt, mm -hmm. which you can put on on Cled as well. And yeah, or you can put the the death blade and, and the bow on Cled. I thought we agreed, looking at the list, that Deathblade is a slamble item. Maybe it's, I just agreed. So, you don't agree when you start sword that you want to slam Deathblade. So, with the preface that I am like absurdly way too hesitant to slam items on stage 2, the only sword items I, like, prior to this lesson, the only sword items I would be slamming were probably Bloodthirster and Shoujin. Okay, but do you agree that Deathblade has a place in the meta right now? Yeah. So then that warrants it being slammed. If it's yeah, okay, here's my thing. I am kind of like scared almost of, specifically if I think I'm going to play an AD comp, I'm kind of scared of using swords and cloaks because... I don't know how to position well enough to not have Bloodthirster on my carry. But you can make a Hodge. That's one option. It doesn't, and work, option. It doesn't work as well for me. <laughs> second option is actually fucking scout. Like, you can't position if you don't scout. So that's like one of yeah. the like overarching things. Like, if you're not scouting, then obviously you can't position well without scouting. It's like, it goes hand in hand. Yeah. And it's like, a lot of it, like, what do you do most of the time? Like, you, like, you, the, the, like, looking at the VOD, like, for 10 seconds, most rounds, or 20 seconds, you're just looking at your board and nothing's happening, right? Now, that game, I, I don't know why I wasn't scouting that game. I, okay. I feel like I usually scout more, and okay. hopefully it shows up this video, but maybe it won't. Maybe I'm just talking out my ass. Like, now, like, you could have scouted a little bit, right? Yeah, like, but what do you, I mean, yeah. Okay, yeah, ask, ask. So, yeah. What information are you looking for on stage two? Like, you have no idea who you're playing next. Okay. And nobody's, like, selected a comp, so you can't be like, oh, I'm not going Aphelios, he already has Aphelios. So what is the only thing you can influence this, this early? Positioning. Yeah. I'm looking, but, at, looking at your comp, what is, like, how do you win fights with your comp? Uh, pretty much just outlast them when the Hellions come back. Okay. But you, you're, your board is pretty powerful, right? So, yeah. Ziggs can kill shit, right? Mm hmm So maybe if they have, like, a two-star tank and a one-star tank, maybe kill the one-star tank first? Mm-hmm. Maybe you have a Thresh and you want to hook their carry? But you're like a 1 in 7 shot to see who you're playing next, right? Like Yeah, so you look at the boards and you see, okay, three guys have the carry here, three guys have it here, and two of these guys are stronger than, 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 than these three guys. Yeah. So it's like, okay, so if there's like a two-star carry here, two-star carry here, and a bunch of one-star carries here... You always want to hook here. All right. Because you beat you beat the guys over here anyway. But what about the guy who has the two star sun already? Okay, that makes sense. Right. So there's like always. Yeah. Like that, yeah. Yeah. That's the thing about diamond lobbies. Why it's like usually so easy to beat them with like a, a, an okay board. Because like if I outposition them, if I position for the two strong guys, I know I beat the other guys, and I position for the two strong guys, and it's like I'm guaranteed to win every fight. So like this guy, if you were on the other side, if you were on this side, it's better to kill the Aatrox first, right? Because he does more damage. Like, mm -hmm. he's p positioned perfectly for you. Because everything's going to be attacking the Leona. And his his Thresh is going to grab your, your Ziggs. Yeah. There's almost no way you can make, like, you can, you can protect your Ziggs. That's, yeah, because you have all, like, low range or no range unit. But you can definitely kill the Aatrox first rather than the Leona. 
I, I think you still win here, but it's going to be close. I don't remember. Oh, maybe it's not even that close. It is close. It's by one unit. Or like two units. But like putting it on this side would have made it a lot stronger because the Aatrox, yeah. Yeah, Aatrox yeah. did a lot of damage. So that's like you, you should always be positioning. Like it's these little things that like give you yeah. an advantage early. And then like maybe a full win streak is is something you you can like win the whole game off of. And like looking, like maybe a Leona, is, Leona here is good for the knights. Like knights right now would be good. Maybe a Ken would be good. I'm pretty sure I do buy some, or do you mean switching them in? No, I meant like leveling up and putting them in. Yeah. Or like, yeah, you have a Nautilus. Like that would, like if you put a Nautilus here, there's like, it's very unlikely that you lose. Oh, you won the 33, 33, 33, nice. Okay. Nice. Nice. Yeah, this is good. This was the very, very easy early game. Okay, this is this is a good thought thought process. Is two star Leona better than one star Nautilus? Uh, I don't know. Nautilus has the CC, and I think even at one star, that knock up is really powerful. Okay, it's it's very close. I I still think Leona might be better, but maybe Nautilus is better. But like. I hope you at least thought about the fact that, like, okay, two star Leona is not as good as Nautilus. That's why I play the Nautilus and not the Leona. Because otherwise, you play the Leona and you sell the Nautilus, right? So then you have your Leona pair. I don't think I was thinking quite that far ahead. But... Okay, but I just like it. Just like if, yeah. if I want to make twenty and I want to have the option of two star and Leona, I play the Leona and I sell the Nautilus. Yeah, that makes sense. It's like these little things where, like, you play the board you want to keep. Holy shit. There's a Galio and... How is this a seventh? What the fuck? <laughs> wow. I have no idea how you can turn this into a seventh. Because this is, like, a free top four right there. But... It should be. Like, you have two-star Hecarim, you have two-star Clad, you have a Galio, you have a Ziggs. Like... Yeah. No, 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 I completely agree with you. This was... So, yeah, let's see Let's see what, what happens here. Five win streak. Yeah, now, obviously, like, two-star Leona compared to... to uh, Galio doesn't compare, and Thresh is good because of Hecarim and just the CC as well. Thresh being Thresh. And we're making... We're not making 40 here? What?! Why are we not making 40? No idea. Do we need any of this shit? Uh, I mean, two-star Leona's alright if you're aiming for Velkaz, but no. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. Please sell this shit. So why, why do you... Uh, uh. Why didn't you do that? Hmm? Why did you have to do that? Like, why did you uh, come up here? Because I could still be at 30 and keep it, a win streak. But does this does this board not win while you're at 50? Uh, well, I didn't scout, so we'll never know. Exactly! Ah, thank you! <laughs> So, like, I'm not saying it's a, the wrong play, but it's like, okay, you look at other boards, you're like, hmm, do I win, do I not win? I beat everybody to a bloody pulp, so I don't need to level here. Like, yes, this is really strong. This is the... 
I want to do as much damage to them early kind of play. Nice! Yeah, I remember getting kicked by that fiddlestick. Wait, we, we sold, wait, why did we sell the, the Clyde over the... Instead of selling Wayne? Because it's a two-star Clyde. Uh, I was thinking about Misfortune at that point. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, so you lost... Wait, huh. What did we, what did we lose? We lost... We lost Hellion. We lost Hellion and Cavalier for Fortnite. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably not as good. I think he just swapped the Leona. Yeah, I, I, I kind of agree but, with you, right? Yeah. Because if maybe if you had if you had the Clyde over Leona, I think you can still actually win here. So by leveling and putting in the four knights, you make yourself weaker. Because when that happens, Cavalier, Cavalier is stronger than Knight because you have a two-star Hecarim. Okay. Yeah. This is a little unfortunate. Okay, there we go. There's an MF. Wow, nice. Smooth. Very smooth. And we're playing... We're playing another Hecarim over the Nautilus. So we can potentially sell the Nautilus. No. No. Because now if you lose, you can't make 40. I don't know if I want to sell that Nautilus, though. Because you, you're you usually playing Nautilus in Forgotten comps, right? Yeah, but he's a support unit, right? Like, how important is he? Like, do you want to 3-star him? It's not like... You're probably going to find another one along the way. That's true. I mean, okay, you're at forty right. gold. At forty gold, it's arguable. Maybe you don't need to. You don't need to make forty here. But it just like I was just... definitely just planning on winning and selling the Leona. So okay, okay. <laughs> Which you obviously knew that you would win by not scouting. Good. Exactly. And again, here, like having the Leona over the Nautilus. Oh, wait, you wouldn't. Yeah, okay. So here, there's no way to make fifty if you don't win. Oh shit, okay. That's the power of 3 star 1 costs. Yeah. He hyper rolled, that's kind of whatever. Uh, is there any way to have beaten him? Maybe Nautilus stunning. Yeah, but okay, never mind, you're not beating this. Um, okay, this is like an, a more niche concept, which you can ignore for now, but uh, you should be buying out the shop. Yeah. You can ignore it for now, because it's like more of a master plus kind of thing. But like just buying out all the two costs gives you higher odds of hitting more Hecarims. Yeah, small edges. It's I don't I don't I don't I don't even think it's a percent. Maybe it's like half of a percent or a quarter of a percent higher odds of hitting Hecarim. But paying zero gold for a quarter of a percent, why not, right? Yeah. As you said, small edges, yeah. Hmm, okay. Wasn't there a Tristana in the last shop as well? There was, right? Yeah. Yeah, there was. Yeah, these items... It happens. It happens. Nice. MF is actually pretty strong. That's a uh, one unit loss. That's completely fine. Oh, okay. So here you can you can look at hung out top and just see what the rate of blessing is. Mm. At forty, as we discussed before. Okay. That's a super powerful item. I guess it is the, the staff here. I guess it is. 
why do you sound unhappy about it? Because you're probably not going to have any frontline items this game either. Yeah. Whereas the the Rascal's Glove or the Titan's Wow would have given you some frontline. What the fuck is this? So how what? many people, how many people are playing MF this game, and Hecarim? I thought I scouted in this game. Maybe I didn't, but so there is someone. So you did scout that. Someone is playing MF and Hecarim. Cause like right here, this is the easiest hacker and mural game ever. Like hacker him and MF. No? Okay. No, I agree, but do you roll it I thought you rolled at seven for those. Not for hacker him. You roll at six if you want hacker him, roll at seven if you want MF. Yeah. So would you roll at six here? Definitely for hacker him. You have five of them. Okay. Like you're probably gonna get some MFs anyway, it's forty percent, thirty percent, so you're gonna get some MFs. Okay. But here you're, you're going to get a lot more Hecarims, right? So by leveling here, you're kind of locking yourself out of... It's going to be like you lose 10% Hecarim to get... Like 5% here and 10% here. It's like... It's not yeah. a good trade-off. Nice. So now we're buying... What? What the? What? Okay. How is this Velkos better than an MF? In what world is the Velkos better than an MF? It's not right now. Thank you. So why not just play the MF? I don't know. Like, this is like I really don't. a very, yeah. like, let's say low elo or low skill kind of mistake. It's like... There's no reason for you not to buy the Valkos, keep it on the bench, and just keep playing the comp you have. Because now you made yourself so much weaker. Like, you don't yeah. have... You don't have uh, Cannoneer, you don't have Four Forgotten, you have a random Valkos. With not nothing to support the Valkos. And you instantly commit to... Redeemed. So I think this round you just lost the game. Yeah, I think I agree. The level up to, to 7 was questionable. And then ditching the misfortune for Valkas instantly is, is just so bad. There's like, ugh, it, it does nothing. Like, Valkas does nothing here. He doesn't have any extra damage, like, no redeem, no damage item. Okay, now we have redeemed. Okay, what is this comp? Okay, you're either rolling down or, or just like going eight here. Okay, how much is it? Okay, maybe, okay, you'll, you'll go eight after carousel. Please tell me you go eight after carousel. I am pretty sure I went eight after carousel. Okay. You're, you're doing this for the Radiant Blessing, I understand. Radiant Blessing. You want the Blessing. Mm -hmm. You're calculating you want to lose one more round, get the Blessing. So, like, MF would have still been a lot better here than the Velkos. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. You have a random Deathblade. Yeah, the items were unfortunate. Like, I don't even think I picked 
any bad items, per se. Like, carousel-wise. Okay, that, there was definitely a de death blight slam at the beginning. Then you, you, you went over, you got a bow instead of a, instead of a belt on the armory. On the first armory. And then the Archangels or the Urfangels or whatever is, is really powerful, so you always pick that up if you're gonna go AP. But it's like, you get two swords and you're forcing AP. Like, if you get two swords early, yeah. you should be forcing AD. And then you could have just played MF. But like, yes, your items were not ideal. Here it's also tough. It's yeah between the armor and the and the rod. I think I had seen my Velkas dying and wanted the gunblade on him. Oh yeah, there's, sorry, gunblade. You can be gunblade. I forgot about that item. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> what are you doing? What the fuck are you doing for twenty seconds? I I think I got like a text message or something. <sighs> Just put your phone like if you want to climb, you gotta. Put like TFT first. Like unless it's like your mom or your your, your family or someone's dying, like just because these these this is like one of the most important rounds, right? Now, I remember seeing that and being like, oh shit, I just didn't have time to do anything. Mm hmm. Hmm. Nice. These are some decent chops. Okay. You know your comp? Good. Oh god! Okay, okay. I like the first part. I do like the first part. Okay, do you know how to use W? Just use W. For what? To put the units what? in. Put the units in. Oh, I didn't know it did that. So, yes, you sell... So you sell everything except the... Leona, Velkos, Ivern, Nautilus, right? Yeah. So you can do that a little bit quicker. I think I was very unsure about what the best route here was, which is why I was so slow. You don't need to put the items on now. You don't need to be moving shit now. Like, you have... Just fucking roll. Like, like rolling right now is the most important thing. Positioning, nobody gives a fuck. Like, everything is one star. Yeah. You have a full one star board. You're gonna get completely fucking wiped. And you're like rearranging your units and putting items on. Like, and you have 70 gold. Like, you need to roll the fuck down. You are so lucky that you hit here, but like, there was a Garen there in it, the shop. There was a Garen in the shop, by the way. Would you play Garen over. Over Nautilus? 100% right now. That's true. There's a Shoujin for your Syndra as well, or for Lux, I guess, for later. There's a Kale, which is better than which is better than uh, Varus, if you're playing Varus for now. Yeah, I definitely just moved way too slowly there. Like, this Velkos is a beast, like... This is insane. You won with a full 1-star board. Rel, okay, now it's... yeah, now it's that. Uh, you still want to put in the Lux over the, the Varus. You want Lux or you want Atro Atrox? You don't want Varus. I think I did. I don't remember what I did. You definitely need to keep rolling, by the way. Are we not using the hockey for roll? I do. Okay. 
There's a volley bear, by the way. Yeah, but what do you... Like, what do you change it for? Probably Nautilus. Nautilus? Well, what else is there? You can't take out a redeemed unit. <sighs> you can't take out a redeemed, and makes no sense to switch it for Ivern, or... Okay, knights do nothing. Ironclad does a little bit. But studying the whole board does a lot. Yeah, I, I just overvalue knights and iron. Like this, I overvalue having traits, basically. This late, it doesn't do anything. Okay, like, it's more about... Okay, what does, what does knight and ironclad do for you? Uh, basically helps against AD comps. It, I, it prevents a little bit of damage. Yeah. Yeah? Does stunning their whole board for 2.5 seconds prevent a little bit of damage? Uh, probably more than Knights does, so. Yeah. yeah. So, like, that's, that's like, the, the big picture way to think about it. Knights and Ironclad help me, like, prevent a little bit of trickle damage. Volley Bear prevents a lot more damage by stunning everything. And also it, it buffs these two guys up a little bit as well for, for more yeah. revenant. You do buy it. And you do put it in, oh my god. And you're, ah! You have 20 gold, ah! Yeah, I think I die with 20 gold. You're not dying Maybe this I die round. one round later. You're not dying this round. Okay, by the way, oh god. Who is your second strongest unit in this comp? Hell. Fuck no. No? Guess, guess again. Fiddlesticks? Fiddlesticks, for sure. Oh my god, how the hell do you not, like... What? Kale, bye Kale. Kale, get the fuck out of here. No, you just dropped I Invoker. No. Oh. I have I struggled for so long with that. I have no idea what the best arrangement there is. Okay, does Kale do anything? Just, Kale does absolutely nothing. So it's Syndra that over. That feels Kale. so wrong. What feels so wrong? A legendary being worse than a one-star Syndra. But it's like... It depends what you want from the unit, right? If you want Kale to carry yeah. the comp... Like, do you need another carry? You don't need a carry in Kale. Yeah, I guess not. I mean, not. it is counterintuitive. I, I agree with you there. But it's like, Kale has a specific use. And Kale's use is to do more damage... And uh, help you win the long drawn out fights. While Syndra's job yeah. is to protect your Valkos. So, like, protecting your Valkos yep. assassins is more important. And giving your whole team Invoker is good. And being able to put the Hodge on Fiddlesticks is good. Okay. So that's that's my thought process. Yeah, I, I see your point. I, I struggled over that a lot. Why it's better. And clearly... Two star kill I will keep. Two star kill I will keep. It feels and bad to sell a one star kale then, or to sit with two items on the bench. Now you could say I should have just not put the Hodge on Kale in the first place, in which case. Yeah, you yes, put it on fiddlesticks. But... <laughs> um, and why do we have two Valkos on the bench? That is very interesting as well. Uh, greeting for three star Valkos. With zero gold and twenty-four HP. Okay. That's why I said greeting for it. Yeah, it's it's not happening. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I sell them. Okay. And why are you rolling during the round? You can make ten gold and make one more interest. It's not like you can. Uh -huh. It's not like you can't yeah. roll a few shops, right? Like, you roll during the round if you're above 30 gold. Let's say if you're above 30 gold, you can roll. But if you're... Like, you have to be capable to roll 15 gold in one round, right? So... Yeah.
Look at that fiddlesticks, though. You see that shit? Yeah. Give him a hodge. Fiddle is fiddle is a super carry with redeem spat. By the way, I think I posted in the in the Discord as well. That fiddle is a yeah. complete beast. Redeemed is so much stats when you have six redeemed. Oh, the, the kale. It does nothing. Like, it doesn't have enough HP. It just, yeah. yeah. I think you get baited by the kale here. We're scouting. We are scouting. Yet, we do it's not Velkaz the right direction. Oh shit, what, what's taunt? What? That was, uh, it was just bullshit. Yeah, so if you position on the other side, you would have been in a way better spot. And that, like, you're playing extremely high positioning requirement comps. <laughs> like, that's why you're losing. Like, play a fucking retard, like, sorry, like, play a fucking whatever, like, no brain comp, where you just put everything in the back, like this, and just not yeah. move anything at all, ever. But for that, you need like to reroll some, some strong, some strong three stars, right? Yeah. But if you're playing, uh, if you're playing a Velkos, if you're playing um, Diego, Diego, if you're playing, like if you're playing <laughs> these units, like they're extremely AP and scout intensive units and position intensive. Yeah. So like. The comps you're playing and the way you're playing them is really bad. Like, if you want to play a no brain comp, reroll some fucking Callista or some Aatrox and just <laughs> give him at like give him in the corner. Yeah, because like this comp is good because Volley Bear can stun everything. He didn't stun the well, he wouldn't have stunned the Santa anyway. But like, if if you had your if you had your um, Valkos on the right side. Oh, the opposite corner, then he just yeah. lasers them all. And, yeah. That's yep. why I hate playing Valkos personally, because like so much sweating, like you have to move your whole fucking comp. Yeah. So what do we want here? Cap spot? I, I can get behind that. Please tell me put on fiddle. Please tell me put on fiddle. Please. Uh Pretty sure I have bad news for you. Oh god. Okay now I mean two star KO is okay. But what is what is Volley okay, what is Volley's job? He jumps in the middle of them. Like what is his job though? To be a tank? Or to CC? Stun and die. His one job is to stun and die. That's it. Mm. He doesn't need any any items, he doesn't need anything. Like, the only item you can put on him is a Morello. Like, you don't want Volley Bear as a tank. You want Volley Bear to just stun and die. Because mm. he has the Revenant, Revenant thing, so he's not gonna... He's, like, 90%, 95% of the time, he's gonna get his stun off. And we did gonna... have actual tank items. Who would you be putting him on, bro? Fiddle. Like tank items, like war mugs, fucking yes, Fiddle's whatever else. Beast. Fiddle, okay, okay. Well, is sorry, he okay with the revenant spat? Otherwise, otherwise, well, okay. But with the revenant, like Fiddle is a fucking beast. Fiddle heals, so yeah. Fiddle has inbuilt healing. Fiddle has crazy tankiness from redeem. Fiddle can't die from like because he has revenant, so he's gonna revive. Like Fiddle is a pretty broken unit, especially if you have like I, I said, like redeem spat on Fiddle is like. So fucking powerful. Like yeah. If, if Fiddle had uh, Cavalier Spat and Hodge... Yeah. <laughs> Fiddle would be cleaning up. Like, how do you kill that Fiddle? Insane damage? Insane, like, healing stats? Nice Shroud there? And you die. It's a three-star asshole. Yep. Yeah. So, it, like, you cannot get hit by the Shroud. Okay, okay, fine. That's... Jeez, that's good on his part. Good job, Link. Uh, but you shouldn't get hit by the Diana and by everything over here. Just, like, I I don't like playing Valkos, and I, I suggest you don't play Valkos, because you need to reposition your comp a lot. 
Yeah. And that's like a trend I see with in the both games, like... Has your Vokas ever been on the other side? No, when I do scout and reposition, it's usually not moving my whole board. But you need to move like... Okay, so... By the way, like, why is the Lux not in the corner? Do you know how, how a shield works? I... I think I was planning for like Assassins or someone. I feel like there's an Assassin player. And I could just be wildly wrong. But why not put like the Nautilus here or something? That's why you have the Syndra though, that's why you're playing why you should be playing Syndra over Kale, because Syndra throws away the assassins, right? Yeah. Um so you what you wanna do okay. Uh where's the builder? Uh Origin. Where's it class? It's Origin, right? Redeemed? Yeah. Uh yeah. And then, yeah, maybe you need to put in another shit one if you don't have... But, like, yeah, you, you really want to play a spat. So, Syndra goes here, Valkos goes here, Lux goes here, and then you have your front line. What do you do if you're against... I mean, I guess Syndra. If Assassins, then you have, like, a Nautilus here, right? You have a Nautilus there. Yeah. You have an Iron here. And then there you have, you have the Fiddle with... Uh, Revenant's bat. Right? This is kind of nice. Yeah. Also, you're playing a Leona over... No, you, I'm not you, playing you Leona. Cut Leona. You cut Leona. Yeah, yeah, you cut Leona. Good. So, like this. Yeah. And then you can have, like, Fiddle somewhere. Like, yeah. Maybe have, like, the Rel. It depends, like, how strong Rel is. But, like, Rel, so she stuns everything, right? Then you have something like this. So then you're protecting assassins. But the thing is, you have to be ready to like insta swap it over here. Yeah. Like three three seconds, two seconds before the fight starts. Like, no, okay, three, four, five seconds before the fight starts. And then you just swap it back. You can do like a fake swap, you can do like a real swap. But you need to be ready to like start moving your shit. If you want to play Valkos. That is like the requirement of playing Vel'Koz. You need to be doing this all the fucking time. Mm -hmm. That's why playing Vel'Koz is, is kind of frustrating and kind of difficult. Because if you're not doing this, then like you're not actually using the beam to its full potential. That's yeah. why a fucking like no brain comp uh, where you just like put a Heimer in the corner and he just kills everything is, is nicer. Right, you just have the Heimer and you have the, the, the turret and that's it. No thinking. But Velkos actually has a beam while, while the turret has three shots, so yeah. That's something to think about. Like if you're playing if you're playing a position heavy comp, then you have to position. Sorry, there's no other way around it. So main I... Yeah. Yeah. Main recap of this game. Uh, 4-1 was just a fucking disaster. Yeah. Like the... Hey, honestly, I think that that was just it. I don't... I could have done things differently by slamming that Death Blade at the start, but then it's just like an entirely different game. Um, but that's what it I don't should think be. I... It should be based on the items you get, right? Yeah. Like, you should never be thinking, oh, maybe I'll get these items and play this comp. Like, just play the items you get. Yeah. So, what else? I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember. I, I was pretty happy with stage 2 and 3. They were really good. This game. I agree, they were reasonably good. There was the little thing with... There was the little thing with... Uh, leveling up on 3-1. Yeah. And still losing? Because you yeah. thought you would make yourself yeah. stronger, but you didn't really make yourself stronger? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, but this was... Oh, yeah, the, the bigger mistake. Yeah. Yeah, so I definitely... I think leveling there is fine, but I think you just put in... You keep the clet in. Yeah. But, like, bi bigger mistake uh, later in the game. What was one of the bigger mistakes? 
I'm just every everything I'm remembering is so overshadowed by the awful transition to Velkaz that <laughs> Yes, the transition to Velkaz. There was no fucking need for it. Though. Okay. That's what okay. I was yeah. thinking at. Like why transition Yeah, that was to fucking Velkaz? awful. Like I can't even focus on anything else in this game cuz that was just so bad. Like but there was no need for it, right? No, there wasn't. And I don't think that many people were playing were playing uh, MF, if anyone. Yeah, I, I just I don't even have any words for it. And then like yeah, and like okay, so maybe you want to go Velkaz because you have a spatula. And I agree. like you have the spat, you go Velkaz, fine. But you definitely don't do it then. You probably just chill until eight and then transition. Like you rolled once and you're like, oh my god, Velkaz, like. Yeah, you can just chill until eight. Exactly, that's that's true. With this, okay. So with this board, I would roll a little bit, maybe to two star the MF or two star at least something, right? Yeah, yeah. Like two star MF definitely carries you to. You buy the vocals, you two star the MF, you chill, you get to eight, and then you put in the comp you played here. Yeah, which, which took you like forever to actually get to. <laughs> Or like it took you un like unnecessarily many rounds to get to. Yeah. Where you bled from? What the hell? I lost so much HP in stage four. So you're yeah you're like over here windsweeping like crazy and then everything was going well and then yeah seventy eight down to sixty eight and then down to twenty it was like twenty four yeah that was like four rounds yeah HP in five rounds. rounds. Yeah, four or five rounds, yeah. Yeah. So, and the thing is, like, why do you put yourself in this position? Like, another like another thing to think about, like, for example, I, sh I shared my mobile games on, on the Discord, right? And if you remember, my mobile game, I got a first playing Sentinel Lucian. And the reason I play that is because I know on mobile I'm very restricted. I can't do many things. So I like I have to play a one comp from the start to finish. So if pivoting is hard for you, try to play the same comp from start to finish. Or like make as little changes as possible. So like sticking to MF would have maybe given you like a four four fifth. But it's so much easier. So that's something to think about. Like, do you want to have an easy game or a hard game? Because even watching, like, top streamers, top challenger players, even better than me, they still struggle a little bit transitioning because it's, like, it's hard. It, 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 like, you have 30 seconds, you have to do. sell half yeah. the board and, like, move everything. It, it's hard. And it's yeah. unnecessary when you're in a position like this. Like, mm -hmm. in this position, you have five... Uh, Hecarims, right? Like yeah. three star Hecarim is is gonna help you in stage four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have no idea why I bailed out on that so quickly. Right, so just like, and it's an easy game. Like it's easy, just we roll forgotten, nothing to really think yep. about. You just make sure you're at fifty gold. You're slow rolling. You're chilling. Yep. While the transition is hard, so yeah, just make make it easier on yourself. And you were saying you want to do a live game. I, I'm, I'm very hyped about that. So. Okay, up to you. I'm sure it's already been like our two hours or whatever. That's so. fine. That's fine. I want. I want to see the. I want to see the live game. All I right. want. I want to like actually kind of you tell me what what you're doing and why you're doing it. So now I would like you to share. Stop streaming. I'm gonna stop streaming. And you're gonna share your screen, and hopefully that's gonna work out. <laughs> Should be fine. So yeah, the, the key things are like not committing enough. I had lots of Oh, this was fun. This was one where I uh, slammed two Nikos on a Kale and then went sixth. 
Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I had like GA, Radiant Ginsu's, and like Hodge or Gunblade, I think. Yeah. Wow. How the hell does that happen? Yeah. Three redeemed, two mystic, two ironclad. So, like, you're not building around the kale. That that's what I can see from it. Like, what is this comp? Is this kale carry? Is this Velkos carry? Uh, it was intending to be Velkos carry, and then I had a kale and okay. again no defensive items. <laughs> Please start armor. Just start armor, because it, it seems start like armor. you never have any defensive <laughs> items. And not having defensive items just hurts you so much, man. Yeah, it does. Because usually the armory, if you can get an offensive item, it's better. So, like, by having more defensive items early and then getting your your offensive item later, later is, is good. And what I really like about defensive items is, like... You can play any comp, right? Like, what comp does yeah. want a Sunfire? And yes, that is the the ultimate flexibility. Yeah. Like a Sunfire and an Ionic Spark, or a Sunfire and a Stone Plate, or something like that. Like, any comp can use that. Obviously, it might be a bit harder for you to... Okay, so you can go... Just don't go tier. Yeah. I'm gonna try to talk less and get you to talk more. So like, you, you tell me what you want to do and why, and then, yeah. All right. Um, I mean, Olaf's good. Never unhappy with an Olaf. Yeah, that gives what, you Sentinel. What one cost do you um, not sell for the item? Uh, it depends what items and one cost you get. Like Olaf is, is worth keeping with almost any item. Yeah. So now we have a Last Whisper. That's fantastic. Yeah. And we have a Senna, and we have a... Um, oh, boy. I really want the Gragas pair. No, you want the Senna. But I also the want... Yeah, so buy the Senna. And, yeah, would have... Yeah. Why do you want the Gragas pair? Like... Because I... Like, early two-star... <laughs> I don't know. I feel like two-star Gragas isn't awful. He's not, but it's like, you're going to get three Sentinel, right? What I have, at least you have three Skirmisher. Yeah. So yes, you could have had two Star Gragas and Kha'Zix, but this is better. Alright, this is an interesting item choice. Or at least to me it's interesting. Maybe it's easier than it seems. Um... I would probably make Gwinsu's. I think I like that a little bit better than the last Whisper Slam. What the fuck, bro? Wow, that was what? possible Draconic play. You had three Draconic, but... Yeah, I don't... I don't love you have Draconic. A... Uh, you have a Gwinsu? Uh, a yeah, I do have... Yeah, 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 all right. That was uh, easy first. That. Okay, uh, never mind. Averted, averted. You averted an easy first. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this would be too easy. Okay. Um, okay, so I would consider slamming last whisper. Okay, you don't need to slam anything. But yeah, oh my god, that was a, such a free first. You had three draconic on two one. But we don't want that. We don't want a free one. No, we don't want the easy first. Yeah. Please, if you if you're handing a free first like that, take it. <laughs> Especially with a with a Gwinsu's for your Zyra already. Yeah, 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 yeah. But no, I wouldn't good. learn anything from an easy first. Come okay, on. okay. Let's uh, let's, let's let's earn it. Uh, I should have slammed Gwinsu's before doing other stuff there that i think that was uh all right Ooh. okay if you want to start winning you can make ionic and last whisper 
Really? Yeah, try it, try it. Alright. Um, yeah. Who do I put the Ionic on? You can put it on Olaf. Or, yeah, you can put it on Olaf, it's fine. Um, but you want to, don't, don't have him front line like that. Have him like behind the Uder or something. Yeah, good enough. Nautilus pair, Senna pair, nice. So what you should be doing is scouting and making sure that Kazix jumps on something, if you can. Why Ionic Last Whisper instead of Gwinsu's? Because you can't use another, you can't make another item, right? Because that uses all the items. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, this guy's kind of strong. We don't have Sentinel in yet. We'll get Sentinel now. There we go. How are we getting Sentinel in? <laughs> so here I would play take out Cannon and Uder and I would put in the Senna and Nautilus. Not Nautilus. Yeah. You can have the Senna actually more frontline. She could she could she can frontline for, for Olaf. I really want this uh new new pair. Yeah, get rid of the hacker room then. Right. Yeah. Fine. I think early A bomb is probably one of the strong. Like, if you get stage two A bomb, that's just like a free win streak, right? Should be. There we go. Easy win. And that's just playing two stars, right? Yeah. There was an argument for putting the. The Ionic on the uh, Kha'Zix as well, but you're gonna sell the Ka like you don't want to sell the Kha'Zix too soon. So what item do you need now? I think I'm probably taking a Nocturne. You're taking. In... I would just take an armor, but you can take a Nocturne if you like. Take the Nocturne, okay. but like armor is just you just need to value frontline items more. Cause like right now you're playing you're playing Lucian, you're playing Aphelios, you're playing Draven. You can maybe play Nidalee or Riven as well. Yeah. There's your Irelia, yeah, there we go. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. We have to put in the Lee over... We sell the... The... Um, Kenny and we put in Lee over Nautilus. There we go. And you, you can put the armor on the Olaf because you're selling Olaf anyway. And I would just sell the Nunus and the and the Nautiluses here because you're broke. But it's your call. Like you just you just need gold. Uh, you can sell actually Leona or yeah sure there you go. Actually, I should have sold that, but that's all right. Now you're gonna just. Oh, threshold or not? Okay. Very slightly more useful if I end up okay, Draven uh, soon. Have you played the, the, the top guy? Uh, no. But I think this positioning is fine. Um, you take out Kha'Zix for Irelia. And you sell the, you sell the Kha'Zix and the... And something after. Yeah. So this is what I meant by making sure you make more gold, right? Yeah, I don't think that I ever would have done. Yeah, but this way you guarantee 20. Yeah. And then you can just sell, yeah, there you go. Here you go. Good win streak, good gold. Easy game.
Maybe we don't need Draconic. I mean, this is the second strongest Skirmishers and Sentinels, so... Still showing up. Draconic are still, still showing up. Uh, we don't have... Oh, we have Sentinel. Okay, so... Just backline everything. And put like... Yeah. Yeah, sure. Do you know why we backline? Does it matter? Yeah. Uh, I feel like it used to matter more. Like, set one, Krugs were kind of scary. But now no, I don't no, really no, no. bother positioning for them. This is not for Krugs. It's for... It's for the following round. Hmm. Then no. I mean, so I saw that like one Reddit post or whatever, but... Ooh. No, no, we're selling Ash. We're selling Ash. Okay. Or whatever, yeah. It's, it's, it just, it takes longer for the fight to start, so the Skirmisher Shield jumps, so that's why we do it. It's definitely Rakan here. I kind of want to level, put in Rakan, sell Olaf, put in Kennen. Do whatever. I wouldn't sell Olaf, but yeah, you can definitely level for Rakan. I would keep the Olaf for now until you get a real carry. So the reason we backline everything is because Rakan's going to get the. Oh, well, Senna's going to get the shield. And she's gonna take some damage, and then the shield's gonna jump over, and yeah, it just okay. just to maximize the shield. Yeah. Because it takes like holy shit, it takes like an extra second for the fight to start, so already like you're shaving time off of the shield. Okay, Nidalee is really strong. Yeah. You can put the last whisper on her and tank items would go on Lee here. Lee, 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 Lee. And the armor as well. And you put him more in the in the middle now. Not no 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 back 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 back. Yeah. This is fine. Um yeah, this is looking really good. I don't want... No. Nope. No, I don't. Well, you're definitely making 30 here. Yeah. Kind of want the... You don't want... Uh, um, you don't want the Lulu... Like, why? Pairs. No, I probably would never actually buy them, but... Like, you would never actually play them, right? Yeah. Um, hmm. Scout again? Like, are you still the strongest here? I guess we're gonna. I still haven't played. Still haven't played this guy. Okay. Um. And I think we played them. Might have been the guy we lost to. Yeah, I guess. I guess you want to go. Yeah, you just chill. Go seven. Yeah. Oh, uh, for rolling, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh wow, we should beat this. It's just a two star Gragas. I really like Rakan. Yeah, his healing is is pretty damn strong. Go nearly. Holy shit, the shield is broke. What? How did that what? <laughs> How did that hit both the front and the back? That's bullshit. That was like perfect timing on that. Zyra ulti. I know. It's fine. It's fine. You're at 90 HP. And you can get Galio uh, here. Oh my god. Let's go Galio. So we have an armor. Yeah. So we definitely want the Galio. We already have... Or we want a sword. Okay. So, if we can get the Galio, we'll go for the Galio. Oh, holy shit, okay, that, that's that's GG. So now we have <laughs> Bramble, Ionic, Galio. Do you sell the Lee Sin immediately? Yeah, it's unfortunate you need to buy the Uder, but yeah, you should have bought the Uder there. 
Yeah, 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 you do it. You do it. Because you want to move the items. And you just lost anyway. Uh, you're playing Soraka over one of the Irelias, though. Alright. I'll be back in one second, I'm sorry. Someone's knocking at my door. Yeah. Do we want this Diana? Over, yeah, over Nocturne, sure. But we're not gonna play Diana anyway, but yeah. So you just completely destroyed the strongest guy. Doesn't, doesn't that feel good? I don't remember what else was there, but I don't know if I, well, maybe I would have taken that Galio. I don't know. You always take the Galio, cause like, this is like the easiest Sentinel game, okay? So tell me what you're getting. So it's either IE or Gwinsu's. It's always IE. Gwinsu's is not an item yet. Okay. And it's Tristana over Irelia. It's just like these little synergies, like that's what I meant, like changing your board every time you can, right? Because I think you have enough front line. Add the. I have, well, do you care that we don't have Skirmisher in? We wouldn't have it in anyway. Oh, Kenny? Oh, yeah, actually. Yeah, we could have had Skirmisher. That's actually my bad. Yeah, you're right. It could have been Skirmisher. It should have been Skirmisher. I don't know. Skirmisher from Italy for sure would have been would have been good, but... I don't know what you'd lose, though. Soraka. Soraka? You don't care about Dawnbringer? We don't care about- oh, damn it. Okay, that was my bad. That was probably sk oh, actually, wow, that Ziggs is- Could have been Skirmisher Diff. Yeah, you're right. Should have been, uh... I really am Kenny. I missed the Kenny. We don't care about Renewer, I think. Okay, so if you want to, like, take it easy, you can just level up to 7 now. If you don't want to hassle, like, it's up to you. There's- okay, so now it's Lee over Tristana, and it's I really back in over Soraka. And just, I guess, sell everything left of. No, 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 no. No? Oh, wait. Um, okay, that's actually. So just sell everything left of Irelia to, to make it. No, you're not playing Nidalee either. Just sell everything left of Irelia to clean your bench and be ready. Because you're leveling up and you're looking for six Sentinels. So. Yeah. There's Galio. So by the Galio, level up. And you're looking for Lucian. A pike, yeah. Uh, nice. Come on. Lucian, there you go. So Lucian over and you put in Pike over over Nidalee. And yeah, there you go. Those items go on Lucian. And that's GG. And yeah, you can just ditch everything. Uh, actually, maybe Diana over Lee. Yeah, Diana over Lee for sure here. Mm, yeah. So by the Diana. Oh, sorry. Mm? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, there's a Lee. Yeah, never mind. Never, not, never mind. Uh, actually, by the Lee over Ivern. Okay, now, like, you can decide between a Hodge component or... I think Bo is better here, but you, you tell me your thought process. I would definitely... If I were playing alone, I would take the tier. Either for Hodge or Frozen Heart. Okay, go for it. The reason I would take Bo is... Okay, so, yeah, that's why we bought the Lee. You think okay. two-star Lee is better than one-star Diana? Yeah. And we buy the Pike, Silva Filios, and we're at 50. And yeah, we should position. Maybe you can position a little bit better if you if you want to do that, but you don't have to bother. Yep, nice. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> nice. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe Galio got you. Oh my god, the shield has you and the Galio has you. Galio? Okay. Never mind. Or really, 
is just gonna pop off. All right. You have sentinels. They're broken. Jesus. Sentinels I've broken. tried to make six sentinels work, and it's not always very good for me. Well, you're only playing them on stage four, right? Yeah. Sure. Buy that. Buy the rail. Like this comp is so so strong. I would definitely corner Senna. Yeah, never want to corner Lucian. The reason you don't corner Lucian is no 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 no. You need to you need a corner bait. You need a corner. Okay, just move. Just ah. You need a corner bait for Thresh hooks, for Tristana jumps, for all the sh uh, for um, Zyra ulti. And Rakan can run away, right? So. Which is Senna the only one that'll stay there in this? Nope. In like the, right now? Yeah, the setup, yes. Okay. Has anyone dropped below 40? Oh, oh um, after the carousel, look at his board. After carousel. So you want the Hodge if possible. Like the reason I don't like tier is because it's like if you don't make Hodge, what the fuck are you doing for tier? But yeah. Yeah. Otherwise it's Galio. If it's not if it's not Hodge, I think it's Galio, right? Is there anything else you can do with tier? Oh you wanted the frozen heart? Okay, I guess. Huh. Yeah. So you could have had an RFC, which is yeah, whatever. Actually, the static shift is not the worst, but we don't slam it now. We definitely don't slam it now. Is there anything we can level up and put in? I no. mean, Rail's a unit. We get Skirmisher, which I don't think we no. care about. No, there's nothing. Yeah, there's nothing. You didn't scout his board, by the way. That was your one job to scout his board for the Blessing. Pretty sure you didn't have that before, so. Did he get a full phone or did he just get a spatula? I think he just got a spatula. There was a, there was a spat on the carousel, so. Oh, okay. Okay, so you're clapping this guy, most likely. Mm. You're not? Come on. Sentinel shield. Sentinel, oh shit, it's gone. It's gone, damn it. But it's bound to happen. Okay, a lucky boy, lucky boy, lucky boy. Oh god. <laughs> what? Well, I, I said lucky boy like three times to see the blessing. Oh. I had no idea what you were talking about. Because he dropped below 40. Alright. Just put your, your golden levels now, I guess. And maybe buy the kale, or you don't have to buy the kale. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Are we putting in Diana or Rel at eight? We're putting in Diana, but we're we're gonna try to we're gonna roll a little bit on eight. We're gonna upgrade our board, and we're always we're always picking up like Akshan and stuff like that as well. Maybe yeah. uh, maybe some pick up revenants. Yeah, we can start picking up Love Revenants as well. We can start picking up uh, Garen's stuff like that. Yes, he... Okay, let's see. If he drops, he's going to drop below 40. So just watch him. He's going to run for the Blessing. Hopefully. Hello. You have a Blessing. There you go. Wow. Okay. So it's okay. There you go. It's a. Uh, oh, it's the holy shit! It's, it's the, a emblem. Emblem book. No, dude. What? You just lost. You're losing econ for no reason whatsoever. If you don't get gold here, you're just gonna lose one gold. We talked about this. It does nothing. Like leveling here does nothing for you. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I forgot about that. All right. Okay, start rolling for Sentinels. Do I want that, Teemo? No, just roll for the Sentinels. That you have two-star pike already. You can buy Lucian. 
Yeah, you want Diana over Rao, maybe, but just keep keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. No. No, by the Rakan. Yes, yes. Diana, Diana, over. Okay. Uh, I guess it's... Fuck. Wait for one more round. I guess it's Titans, Shoujin, most likely. Most likely it's Titans and Shoujin. Yeah, one one star, Lucian is not gonna try anymore. No. Nope. You can sell the Iron Clads, man. Oh, you can keep them for one round. And we'll see what we're gonna do. Uh, yeah, you can. You definitely want to play the Diana here over the Rail, though. Unless you two star the whatever you two star first. Ha ha ha! <laughs> Fuck this. Yeah, this is bullshit. Legion we can air some he for healing. Yeah, a little bit healing. Of yeah. Action. Ooh. Roll, roll, roll. Uh, no. There we go. Okay, stop rolling. Why are we rolling now? You got the unit you wanted. Put in the Diana and chill. And put the items on. And then there's a. Oh, you can make a. Wait, if you make a frozen heart, there's a giant. Yeah, it's, it's better to make titans. Better to make titans. Uh, scout with Diana. Scout with Diana. Put her somewhere useful. Put her. No, with Diana. Oh my god. Okay, nice. Like, scouting with her means like you you hold her and you move. Um, You put that on Diana. Sure. So she casts. You can ditch the Rells and the Jaxes, maybe even the Akshan, I guess, to make to make 20. And you can actually go 9 at some point. Yeah, you can just... Yeah, there you go. There we go. <laughs> Easy game. <laughs> Look at your synergies. Like, this is super powerful. There you go. Why not? And now we're scouting, and we're gonna... Okay, you, you like, next level? Next level? Put the Diana on the bench? And don't forget about her, though. <laughs> and then you just place her either on left or right side. I would say right side here. Um, yeah, it's it's a 50-50. Wait, what are you doing? Did you ping it yourself? I didn't mean to. <laughs> it's like, careful, I'm gonna put that back in. <laughs> um, okay, this nidalee is gonna be a problem though. Or is she? Yeah, she's dodging everything. Oh, there you go, Diana. Yeah, this nidalee. So, oh. holy sh! Oh, it's sorry, it's a ribbon. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> okay, what do we what do we need? Maybe healing. Healing would be nice, right? Redemption. Uh. Yeah. Healing for Lucian or for everyone? Redemption. Redemption. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I was the Zeke's as well. Hmm. Yes, yeah, I'll just take Hodge. Hodge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here, yeah, this is kind of whatever. Not great. Um. So who does? Uh, John. Uh, okay. So wait, who are we selling for? Akshan. Yeah, we can put it on Lee for now, I guess. So who have we not played in a while? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we uh, put the Diana on the left. Yeah, I think it's Diana on the left here. Not, no, 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 no. Oh God, it's way too early. But I guess these people don't scout. But you cannot move your Diana. Like they can, they have five seconds to move their whole comp to the other side. Like he could have moved his whole comp if he, if he would actually care. But <laughs> look at that beautiful Diana. Volley bear. Easy Sentinel Shields. Oh, I thought we were done for. Easy. The Legionary is just kind of a 
joke trait, but it gives you a little bit of healing, so it's kind of okay, I guess. Not great. But yeah, it's, it's, it's the best best healing, yeah. Like, the, the only healing you can get. So, Velkaz left, this guy... Left, left, okay. So it's... Okay, this guy right. Wait, have we played... Who was the last one we played before that? I haven't seen... So we played this guy and this guy. I haven't seen okay. Aphelios in a while, Aphelios, so... Yeah, 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 there we go. Sneaky, sneaky, there's no way they can react to that. Oh no, that's uh, Tristana on the... Fuck. Fuck! Yeah, you could have moved the Lucian, by the way. There was no reason to leave the Lucian in the, in the Zephyr spot. I didn't even notice the Zephyr. We scouted the Zephyr. We saw him on the board that he has Zephyr there. I guess you're not looking for every... Oh my god. Come on, Lucian. Oh shit. Oh wait, we still have units... What?! They're still... How is everything still alive? And that's like Sentinel Shield, that's just, it's just so broken. Like, 6 Sentinel is super broken, like, mid-late game. Yeah. Assassin? Oh, Assassin... Hmm. <laughs> so it's Assassin, it's Assassin Lee for sure, but don't put it on the on the Lee until the fight starts, and then you can put in your favorite, uh, Viego for 3 Skirmisher for, uh, for Assassin. What, at 9? Yeah. Which you'll, you'll get the 9 on 6 too, I think. And here you buy the Nautilus, in case you don't find Viego. Uh, don't- why did you sell the Zyra? Maybe someone's trying to 3-star her. Wasn't someone trying to 3-star? Okay, never mind. Never mind, I thought someone was trying to 3-star Zyra. Okie dokie, so now- and we want to have the Lee on the other side, actually. So move the, the Lee. Yeah. And Pike should be in the corner, by the way, because he, he'll jump across the whole board. Yeah. Where our crown is. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, there goes Lucian. Does he? Okay. Yep. He, he managed to three-star his shit. Maybe someone will take him out for us. But it's like, a, I'm pretty sure it's a second here at worst. Unless we get very unlucky. Blessing, oh yeah, blessing time. Well, maybe it's a, okay. GA, I think. Or oh, Shroud, 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 Shroud. Shroud, never QS. Uh, Garen, Garen, Garen. And level up and... Oh yeah, do the, the book as well, actually. Sorry about that. Use the book. Uh, what the fuck is this? Poor cannoneer. Sure, whatever. Yeah, I got the Word. cannoneer. Cannoneer is probably better. And roll a little bit. Maybe you find a cannoneer or something. Huh. No, why, why would you... Sh oh my god, why would you... Oh my, how, how the fuck do you do this, bro? How are you this good? <laughs> you preemptively shroud. And you get him, but yeah, I would not use a shroud like that. Um, How would it? you use it? Well, you wait until the fight starts, and then you shroud, right? Because you can. Oh uh, yeah. You can put it anywhere. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. And you're selling those two, yeah. Huh. Huh, 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 huh. Well, it's a top four for sure. It's a top four. So, right. maybe one more kind of near. Okay, there's a Nautilus, whatever. Roll for Kaneer, I guess. MF, dude! Like that we're one? rolling for Kaneer! There was an MF. Uh, Viego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Viego over that, and just put Kaneer on someone. Like, put it on anyone. Uh, no. Okay. Put the pike in the corner. A bit of HP. He doesn't actually attack. No, 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 not that corner, not that! Oh my god! You have to protect the Lucian. There's like certain <laughs> rules you're not following, man. Like the rule is protect the Lucian, right? So you can't have Lucian in the corner by himself. And you have an armor just lying around, but that's fine, I guess. Yeah, sure, put it on Rakan, whatever. It doesn't, doesn't, okay, now it's... Oh my god, Lucian, please. Lucian, please.
Oh, it's a uh, actually it's a uh, third. That's not bad. Oh. What? Oh god. Okay, so your positioning, like you, I. Yeah, my positioning is awful. I know. But like, do you not know what you're positioning for? That's that's what I like. It seems like you you're not sure what you're positioning for. I no, I don't. I don't really like understand positioning. Okay, that's I guess the the last thing to discuss then. A lot of it's just like doing things because I'm aware I should be doing something vaguely like it, but I don't understand it enough to do anything well with it. If that makes sense. Need to make sure that like, so like yeah, that's 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 why it's it's hard to coach live. Uh, wait, I'm not showing my screen again. So like positioning, or was it class or origin? I never know the shit. Origin, I think, right? Um, okay. So everyone has their job, right? Uh, I don't see your screen yet, but yes. Oh wait. I am sure. There it is. Yeah. There it is. I had to click watch stream again for some reason. Oh, okay. So, Senna's job is to be in the corner and protect Lucian. Yeah. That's her job. Galio's job is to uh, use his ultimate and protect Lucian. Right? Rakan's job is to heal everything. So Irelia kind of has to protect Lucian as well. Pike. So the reason why I got so mad about Pike is Pike leaves his fan as a patient then dashes behind the farthest enemy. Right? So you never want to have Pike here, because like if he's on this side or on this side, he'll jump to the other side and then dash across the whole board. Yeah. Yeah? I was, for some reason my brain just like short-circuited and you were like, oh, put him on the other side. And I was like, oh, but Lucian and Senna are on that side and I forgot that I could put him in the second row. You could, No, you had Rakan in the corner. You could have just swapped with Rakan as well. Or you can, yeah, or second row, yeah, or swap it for Khan. And then we had, it was an interesting comp, we had Lee Sin as well. We ended up, we, we, we did end up with, with the Assassins, didn't we? With all of them. We had Viego in for one round. But it wasn't, it wasn't strong enough. Yeah, one star Viego. So it's just like about like... The thing is, you need Lee Sin to actually do something, Diana to do something, Viego to do something, Pike to do something, and to protect Lucian at the same time. Yeah. So that's kind of what you're scouting for. You're scouting to make sure that he doesn't get lifted. You're scouting to make sure that he's protected. And you're scouting to make sure that these units actually go somewhere and do something. And you can have them anywhere, right? Because they are assassins. And you backline everything to make, to, to make better use of the Sentinel Shield. And to make sure your assassins jump behind theirs, like behind their units. How does that like protect Lucian though? Like the last round we lost, everybody just ran up and murdered Lucian. Okay, you can do something like this, I guess. Maybe this is better. Was it, wasn't there like two assassin players in the lobby? It seemed like there were. Uh, there was the one with the three star Nocturne for sure. And then there was like some and other then... assassin players, yeah. So maybe something like this then would have been good. Uh oh, it was a there's a Hellions. Oh yeah, the the Tristana, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So for that, it's but but if you have good assassin placement, Tristana will jump away and not towards. If you understand, yeah, I still don't understand. I uh, I understand <laughs> what should happen. Okay. She like I, I know she jumps to the farthest unit, but no, 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 no. But that's only if there's nothing next to her. Yeah. If there's an enemy adjacent to her, she instead leaps t as far away. Yeah. So if you make sure an assassin lands on Tristana, uh, your Lucian will be safe, because she won't jump over here. She'll just jump in this corner. Mm -hmm. But if there's no assassin next to her, then she'll jump like somewhere. I don't know, somewhere here. Yeah.
But did, did that like yeah. did that game feel a bit better that you like you had items like you were guaranteed top four? Uh, I mean the items were kind of unfortunate. It felt like like I wish I had a uh, real healing item for Lucian. Yeah, with a healing item, you probably you probably win there, or you get like second for sure. Like I, so you had three. Items the logic that I know isn't. Yeah. The logic that I know is entirely correct is I'm like, I didn't, or I didn't notice at least any fights that that Ionic Spark won. So I'm like, oh, I wish I had the cloak for a Bloodthirster. But you never got a sword anyway, did you? No. I don't think so, no. You never, like, so... I mean, like, that that's the risk of it, but like... So that you know, that, Spark did something. Or I, I did mean, have I did. a sword, because I, uh, I made Shojin. Oh, you did have a sword, okay. But that was, like, he... Oh, it would have been, like, several stages with just a spare cloak doing yeah, nothing. exactly. And a spare rod, by the way. Yeah. I think the spark did more than having the BT on, like, stage 5 would. You think so? I think it did something. Like, it, even if the spark did, like, a little bit, it, it was there for... Like, the whole game. Yeah. While BT, you you might get, you might not get. I don't, like... I think this was, like, the other extreme, which I wanted you to experience, like, just slamming item after item after item. Mm -hmm. And getting a feel for that. And once you have a feel for slamming item after item after item, you can, you can kind of go, okay, maybe I could have kept the cloak. Yeah. But then... How to use the rod. Right? Because, like, then you just have well, a rod as well for, for forever as well. So I probably would have slammed the uh, Gwinsus. But Lucian doesn't want Gwinsus. So then you would be playing Aphelios. Yeah. Yeah. Because we had this. And then I, then I told you to make the spark, right? I... We had, yeah, we had bow, glove, rod. Yeah, we had these, and... these four items. Yeah. yeah. And then you got an armor, which which I believe turned into a bramble. Eventually, yeah. What other, it, it, wasn't it soon enough? Oh, because you got another, you got the armor from the Galio, so that was, yeah, that was good. Yeah. So armor and armor. And wait, we had another item. What was the other item? Um, and then... I know we had items. I still have it open. Um, no, I, I know the items at the end, but I'm just thinking, like, what was the... Because we had... Oh, we had IE at relatively soon. Yeah, we got IE relatively soon. IE was the Radiant. No, okay, so my bad. Um, I think after... Let's see. No, we didn't have any. we get? Yeah, af that was after stage four. Yeah, after stage four. Yeah. And then we get got a lot on the on the final stage four minions, I think. Yeah, you had four. Yeah, because then we made Shojin and uh, Titans. Or, uh, Titans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's still better than what was a Frozen Heart and GA. Yeah. No, Frozen yeah. Heart and... G GA feels bad. No, it would have been Frozen Heart and I and uh, Spark. If you had... Uh, yeah, because we had... Uh, ship, 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 ship. Ship, sorry, yeah, ship. Yeah. Which was... Yeah, that's... Yeah, no, I agree with that. That's why we made this and the... the but the Diana... The Diana could hard carry with this, right? Like, she ultied like two, three times during a fight. Yeah. It just the... Those armories were unfortunate. We that get like armory, a sentinel. Like, that gave you a freaking leaking ear spat. Ear spat. It's like whatever. <laughs> Cannoneer spat. Ugh. And then you got the cannoneer spat, which didn't do anything either. And then you didn't buy the MF. I'm like MF, 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 and you just skipped. Yeah, it. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> 
Fifteen percent healing, yeah, that's that's like a it's better than a Hodge actually. It gives attack speed and it's better than a than a Hodge when you low when you low roll the Hodge, right? Hodge is ten percent. Yeah. I, mean, wow, it's I don't creative. like Hodge. It is creative. It was very creative, the Legionnaire for healing. I did like it. Better than nothing, but And then the Cannoneer, it's never like Cannoneer is never on Viego. Uh the reason it's never on Viego is because Viego doesn't attack. Oh, I only put it on him for the help. At like 150 HP. Oh, okay. Cause I was no, I wasn't expect. I wasn't expecting him to attack and do anything with the buff. I was like, oh, it's like. Oh, I was. I would have put it. I guess on the lease in maybe. Can I? Like, yeah. I have to put it here and then have to move it. Okay. It's actually probably uh, Aurelia. She might have the fastest. Oh, Aurelia, because she does. Yeah, because she actually does stuff. Yeah. But then the had the Hodge as well. Yeah, it's true. Which we got a bit later than yeah. It was just yeah. Unfortunate, but I think like third place here was fine. Maybe a little bit better positioning, but overall, yeah, I'm I'm happy with the result. I don't know if, if you're happy as well. And if yeah, if you could try to replicate something like it. Yeah, I definitely am just gonna go slam some items and see what happens. <laughs> Cause it's like I, I I know I'm so bad about just endless greed, especially in stage two. I'm like oh. All four of these items could become something else. And it's like, well, yeah, or they could be something now. But the, the thing to think about, which is the key thing to think about, is you have you need to use two components to make an item, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, if you keep the cloak, you're not only having a cloak on the bench, you're also having a rod on the bench. Yeah. So then it wouldn't be, okay, it wouldn't be Shoujin, it wouldn't be this... Like, at the end, you would finally get your BT. Yeah, which I cannot find for some reason. First one. Oh. Very first. <laughs> and, uh... I guess you would... Okay, it's not, not the worst item, but you'd have a... I don't know. It, it's easy to Parker's speculate game. from here, because, like, if... If I... Do, if I save the cloak, I definitely make the Gwinsus, so that Last Whisper is a Gwinsus, oh, and then we're probably not playing Lucian, we're playing Aphelios, and then the whole comp is different. Okay, okay. And then, like, that extra glove is kind of kind of rough, but, oh, I mean, it oh, could be a Thieves' glove. Oh, okay, so what you're saying is... Oh, now I get it, okay. So you would have... You would have the Gwinsus. I would have Gwinsus and then a spare cloak and glove, and I'm probably not slamming QSS. Okay, so then on the then on the on the second carousel, you would try to go for a sword to make a BT. Yeah. Or, Ideally. Yeah, yeah, but you want to grab or like a a tier to finish Hodge, maybe. Exactly, and that's why you fuck yourself because you don't go for the armor, which which was what hard carried you through the mid game. Because you would have gone Maybe I'll for... just start taking... Yeah, I would have gone for, like, straight offensive items. <laughs> yeah. And then you would have had a, the same problem of, of not having any, any frontline items. Yeah. Because I think Galio, with, with those defensive items, did a lot. Yeah, he does. For yeah. sure. So that, that's, that's what I mean. Like, you would have gone for the... Get all my, my offensive items and then have no frontline items. Where I'm like... Armor, 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 more armor, more belt, and then maybe I'll get some offensive items. Because, like, defensive, that's that's the thing. That's one thing maybe that I think is important. Defensive items early are worth more than late. Yeah. Just because, like, you, have, you, you typically have better tanks than carries early on. So by slamming defensive items on stage 2 and 3, you're more likely to win and preserve HP. And then if you don't get offensive items, you're probably going to get like a 6th or a 5th or better. But if you slam offensive items early and you don't have any defensive items at all, then late game, like, you have the perfect carry, but your front line's going to melt. So then there's nothing protecting the carry. Alright, so take vests. Just, like... 
I don't know. I, I feel it's really, really good. You can you can go your you can go back to your own thing, but really think about like getting at least some defensive items. Cause like, if you had gone for the for the Gwinsus and then you had then you would go for a BT and then you would go for like an IE or something like that. Maybe you don't get any defensive items. Cause overall, like yes, we didn't have we didn't have uh, BT, but we had decent. At least we had like. Two to three decent tank items, and we had two two decent offensive items. Yeah, which is more more than we can say for the games you showed me, because those were like only offensive items, or like I'm not saying it was all your fault that you had shit items. It's just like you. Oh, definitely some some, some of it, some is, of it was your fault. Because like now it's like you can't blame it as much on the game because you have the armories and the radiant armory, and it's like there's much more agency, right? So it's like. Yeah. If you end up with complete yeah, yeah. shit items, it's like, well, maybe I could have <laughs> picked something else. I can't just blame the game for giving me these shit items. While earlier, like yeah. like uh, set four and early, it's like, oh, well, the game just gave me four cloaks. Well, fuck you, game. But now it's like, well, yeah. I, I just took offensive items. I don't have any tech items. Well, it's kind of my fault. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any, anything else? All right. No, I don't think so. Are you are you ready to hop into some some games and uh, slam some items and get easy top fours? Yeah, that's the plan. Nice, happy to hear that. So, I mean, you're in my Discord already, so you you keep me updated. Yeah. So <sighs> I guess we'll end the video there. So thank you everyone for watching, and bye, Vance. Thank you.